Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Jordy Tree. Sort of. Guys, welcome back. We're gonna be playing... Mm, well, sorry. We're gonna be playing Yakuza 3. In a long-lasting series of... Yakuza games that we're playing through. Uh, yeah. So, let's have a little bit of chat. I have no idea what this game is going to be about. Obviously, because I haven't played any of the Yakuza games until starting this year. We started with Yakuza 0. We are now... We played 1 and 2, and we're now going into... <clears throat> uh, 3. I... For a matter of fact, actually managed to get a copy of Dead Souls, Yakuza Dead Souls, which is a spin-off. Doesn't actually follow the canon, but uh, is a Yakuza game. We might be able to play that if I can get an emulator to work, because I cannot actually uh, record the PS3. So uh, that is kind of a thing that we're I might go look into. Uh, so I now own all the Yakuza games except for 7. With that being said, I want to get 7 as soon as we beat 6. And I also want to see if I can get Judgment. Which is from the same creators, I think. Same kind of game. But then we follow a different character. And more police character. I could be talking complete bollocks, but I don't really like... I've done my best to not look into it, uh, those kind of things too much. System data from the Yakuza series has been found. It received Yoko a bell as a present. Nice. Oh yeah, I also this one. Received a free gold plate. Fist of the North Star Lost Paradise. <clears throat> so I've been able to complete all the games. Like 100% everything. And I think I'm going to try that with this one as well. Obviously not on stream, but uh, off stream, because it's a lot of work. And we're just going to go and have fun with this game again, like always. Deal with all the shenanigans and such. Uji-san! Uncle Kaz! Out some dinner with a fucking harpoon. So yeah, we're no longer in Kamarucho, it seems. That's for sure. So you handa. Is this the Sunflower Orphanage, or is this Zone Orphanage? Rikyo <laughs> Nichan. <laughs> It's the boss. He been shot. Z. Okay, so you can like <clears throat> I'm feeling a big difference already between uh like uh the Kiwami games. Which are completely rebuilt from the ground up, right? Because those were originally PlayStation 2 games, I think? And these are remasters, 3, 4, and 5. Which... I'm... Not 100% sure. 6 was definitely... is definitely, like, PS4. And... Let me Google this. 
Dojima. Oh, that's uh, now the grown-up. Oh, I can barely... I see his face now. I, I, I can see the difference now. I can see I can see it now. Yakuza three. That's the collection. Okay, Yakuza three is PlayStation three. Yakuza four also PlayStation three. Five. PlayStation 3, uh, like, 5 might have released on both. If I, uh, can tell from quick looking over this information. Okay, good to know. それに今あの男に恩を売っておけば後々世界との強いパイプが黙れ。one place he belongs. <coughs> Driver. Hey. Uh, 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 to make sure nobody thinks they can't agree to this Okinawa deal behind my back. Okinawa deal. Yeah, Kiryu has done so much for the Tojo clan. So this must be uh, like uh, behind, uh, like before he gets shot, because I think he's the one that gets shot, right? <laughs> The Dragon of Dojima. What? I don't believe in myself, but it's him. Who? Majima? Majima! It's been way too long since I've played a Yakuza game. We're in we're at the end of August right now. I think the last we played Yakuza 2. I can't see it right now. If I check my YouTube I can find that. Wait. Kazuma-san is alive? <laughs> Uh, what? Wait, what is Amum doing with him? これは沖縄の土地の権利書。だが、あの土地には四代目が。知ってます。あなたにはあの気流カズマがいる。土地を奪うことはできない。だからあなたに代わって私たちが来ることを取ってきたんです。だ、だ、can't we uploaded Yakuza 2's playthrough like four months ago. So 
それでもそれでも俺が断ると言ったらそれは困りましたね。No way. No fucking way. That, that, that can't be the actual Kazuma. That, nah. Kazuma, Kazuma, Kazuma. I don't know. stand with a cane, something. Saki-chan. <laughs> Okay, no, this is a different person. It's happening at the same time. トチバイシュの絡みです。事務所からレイの土地の権利書がなくなってました。何？何でよ？絶対魂の組のレンチに決まってる。奴ら一年前のことだよ。俺たちを逆恨みして。いや、それがどうも違うみてえで。うん？ど
Fuyan massacre from over 20 years earlier. Even so, you owed your life to Kazma's son. That's why I chose to believe you when you asked me to trust you as you died. Because of you, Terada, I learned never to give up on people, even when things take a turn for the worst. Someday the Tojo clan becomes the kind of organization you always wanted it to be. Till that day, watch over them, please. Okay, so no cutscenes. Like, uh, Kiwami 2 had, like, extensive cutscenes to explain what happened in the previous game. Uh, this was uh, what happened in Kiwami 2. Terada was back then the fifth uh, chairman. He fake died as well. Oh yeah, if Terada can do it, Kazuma can do it as well, I guess. Not really that surprising. Nishiki! My best friend -o. Brother in arms! So the Nishiki story happened during uh, Kiwami 1, where he, well, yeah, we went to jail in Kiwami 1, and in Kiwami 1, during that period, Nishiki kind of turned to the bad side and went bonkers crazy. Ended up having to take him out. <laughs> uh, we both taken in by Kazuma-san at the Sunflower Orphanage, then joined a Yakuza organization called the Dojima Family, led by patriarch Sohei Dojima. But when Yumi got kidnapped, you murdered Dojima and threw all our lives into turmoil. I decided to leave Yumi with you and spend 10 years in jail after taking the fall for the murder you committed. I sacrificed the world for you, yet Yumi's disappearance and your sister's illness lent you down a path of despair. Yeah, which was fucking F. I saw you again 10 years later. You were a changed man. What you cared about was becoming chairman of the Tojo clan. In the end, you and I fought over the 10 billion yen that had been stolen from the Tojo. Even still, you you sacrificed yourself for me. I wouldn't be standing here now if it wasn't for you. Rest in peace, Nishiki. You were a great friend right until the very end. Yumi. Still think back to the time me, you and Nishiki spent at Sunflower. We sure had some fun, huh? Even after Nishiki and I joined up with Dojima family, we never stopped spending time with you. Serena, the bar where you worked ended up our favorite hangout spot. Three of us were happy then. Looking back on it now, it almost feels like a dream. And on that fateful day, Soe Dojima kidnapped you, and you had to watch while Nishiki murdered him. The shock of it all caused you to lose your memories. Before you had regained it, though, you met a diet member named Kyohei Jingu and conceived a child with him, Haruka. Once you recovered your memory and learned of Jingu's plan, you left Haruka at Sunflower and began working with Chairman Sera and Kazuma-san to stop him. You mean... There's so much there's so much I wish I had gotten the chance to say to you. I'm sure the same goes for Haruka. So we'll be back to visit again, I promise. So yeah, Yumi. Though Yumi didn't appear in like uh Yakuza Zero, which was kinda surprising how they suddenly added her in the first game. But I guess like she was still at the orphanage during that particular year particular year. And afterwards, uh, well, that, that's my son. How could I repay you for everything you did for me? Even though you were a ranking Tojo officer, you devoted your life to the San Farlauer Orphanage and raised me and the other kids like we were your own flesh and blood. When I got expelled from the clan and sentenced to 10 years in jail for the murder of Sohei Dojima, you were the one, you were one of the only people who didn't abandon me. When I finally got out of prison, you used the Kazuma family to protect me from all the Kojo, Tojo men who were out for my head. You even laid down your life to save Haruka. After your death, I took over the fourth, uh, took over as the fourth chairman of the Tojo clan and managed to put a stop to the infighting. But I wanted to wash my hands of the Yakuza life, so I installed Terada as the fifth chairman. Like me, he owed you a massive debt. That wasn't the end of my involvement, though, as I came back into the fold to deal with the Jinwo Mafia plot for revenge. You see, some GMO members you spared 20 years ago want to revenge or reve revenge? revenge on Dojima family for their downfall. But I managed to thwart their plans, and now Tojo is at a crossroads yet again. 
But I have someone in mind to take over. Someone I trust to lead the clan back down the right path. Rest in peace, Kazuma san. You deserve that much, and thank you for everything. Okay, so I think this actually pretty much this this point is right after Kiwami 2. I think. Or well, Yakuza 2. <clears throat> At least that's what I think, cause uh we're in like a total different setting and what's his name again? The kid of the original Dojima has taken over as chairman right now. Or, well, current time, yeah. I've done all I need to do. Right. I guess she'll be leaving then. Yep. Heading down to Okinawa tomorrow morning. You know, I never packed you as the kind of man to start an orphanage. It's been a dream of mine to take care of kids, though. Just like Kazuma san did for me when I had nowhere to turn. Okay, so that is his own orphanage. Not the sunflower, but his own orphanage. Textbook Kazuma, Kazuma Kiryu responds, if I've ever heard one. But why Okinawa? There is a place there with ties to sunflower. Their old manager died, they asked me if I knew anyone who might be able to lend a hand. They decided that person should be you. It seemed like the perfect opportunity. Aren't many opportunities for an ex-Yakuza out in the wild anyway. A hero Okinawa is beautiful too. <laughs> yeah. The orphanage is right down the beach. You should come by and visit when you get the chance. I'd love that. But I doubt I'll be able to for a while. Why is that? Well, I'm actually leaving the country tomorrow. Wait, what? Where to? The US. They're starting a training program for a new branch of Metropolo Metropolitan Police and they asked me to be an instructor. Is it really that simple? You'd probably try to stop me if I said more. Might be best to just leave it at that, right? Well, I can't say I'm not happy for you. It's good to see you're following your heart. I thought you'd say that. And besides, I don't think you'd like it very much if I turned them down to stay with you. <laughs> Guess not. There's still a lot I want to accomplish as police officer Kiryu san. Kiryu san. Why son? Just say Kiryu. Kiryu! You guys been banging. You guys like each other. Okay, so that's where Sayama wins. That's good to know. Career girls, you know. And I think America is the best place for me to do that. America, the best place to do that as a police officer? <laughs> you sure? Okay, maybe in 2007, but probably not. Uh, you're probably right. So, let's go our separate ways for now. I'll come find you once I'm done. Once I've done what I need to do, okay? Promise. It's a promise. And she gets shot from the distant by a sniper. Hey, Date! And whoever the last guy was. あ、そうなんですよ。結局、警視庁も府警も後手に回り何もすることはできませんでした。それに加えて、倉橋課長と陣後派の起こした警察内部の不祥事。警察としては大きな汚点を残す結果に。じゃあ、なんで一家に戻るんだ。口封じですよ
What happens to Kalamucho? なるほどな。で、何を心配なんだ。私はまだ極道を信じてません。もし東条会の跡目が桐生さんじゃないだろう。また神室町は昔のような荒れた町。大丈夫だ。え、あいつはちゃんと考えてるや。奴は血の吹
Oh, just getting my clean on those go you punks tore the place up real bad. It's really been pitching in though. So they're doing all the work while you smoke. What? You got it all wrong, Aruka-chan. I was just taking a little breather. <laughs> By the way, how are you feeling? What? Meat? Better than ever, man. I'll take more than a few punch to put a dent in all you, ya. Yeah. Ah, hurts to laugh. If that's better than ever, I don't want to see that you... <laughs> that you hurt looks like. What you hurt looks like. I can't read for shit, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, I was Kazuki doing. Still over with the doc. Sounds like it's still gonna be a while till he can come home. He's doing good. Glad to hear it. By the way, you yeah, we're actually here to say goodbye. Huh? What do you mean goodbye? I'm moving to Okinawa. Gonna be taking over an orphanage down there. You're going to Haruka-chan? Mm-hmm. Place actually pretty close ties to Sunflower too. After what Haruka and I have been through, I think it'll feel good looking after some kids for myself. Well, it's outright charitable of you, man. But I gotta say, it's gonna be lonely around here without you. It's not like we're gonna be that far. We can still see each other, you know? You could even come visit us sometime, you know? That ain't such a bad idea. I'll ask Kazuki-san about taking the team down there for next vacation. Sounds like a plan. Speaking of, I'm actually thinking to go see Kazuki now. Oh yeah? Sure, he'll be happy to see you. I hope so. Anyway, you yeah, take care of this place while Kazuki's out of commission, okay? I'll do what I can. Well, kid you, son. I guess this is it. Good luck down there. Oh, and you too, Haruka-chan. Jana! Uncle Ka... Not Uncle Ka... Breathe in, you already breathe out. <laughs> Uncle Yuya, Jesus Christ, I can't read for Jack. Don't forget to come and visit. Hey, you there, can I help you? Is it true that Kazuki Kun, the owner of Stardust, was shot? I heard he's in the hospital. Can't I can't even eat. I've been so worried. Must have lost at least 30 kilograms since I heard the news. There's a rumor that Kazuki was shot. It's just a rumor. It's just a rumor. Oh really? Phew. Why hasn't he been at the club lately? You don't think he's been fired, do you? Unless he fired himself. No. Now what happened? I'm freaking out. Yeah, nobody has to know that he's actually been shot. They cancelled constructions of Kamarucho Hills. Wh what? How come? I heard there was an incident of some sort at the construction site. The whole construction company just up and left. What a waste. They already had so much of it finished. Yeah, I've put so much work in Kamarucho Hills. Cancelling a job of that magnitude must have put a lot of people out of work. And we're talking years of work. It's a real shame. Look at this guy. This is the first time I see a model like this in any of the Yakuza games. Wonder if that business between Tojo and Only Alliance from a while back is really over. Somehow I died it. Why is that? If you want to win a war, you gotta finish the job completely and annihilate the other side. Doing it halfway just... Mm, uh, will just make your enemy want to get revenge later on. People can hold grudge for years, even decades. The ones who stuck around may end up striking at the Tojo clan sooner or later. Just like the GMO Mafia, the Tojo clan has to immediately choose six chairmen and bring the clan back together if they want to prevent the only alliance from retaliating. With a strong leader, leader at helm, they won't have to deal with any desertions in their rank. I have to convince Majima to support Daigo. I do like talking to these guys. Gotta say, you look good. For a while there, I thought you were done for. <laughs> I got Doc Emoto. Uh, Doc Emoto. Okay, that's a weird way, weird name, honestly. To thank for that, he's a real angel. That guy is... That guy. Not many doctors would bother treatment a painless bum like myself. Yeah, I'm surprised he can make ends meet doing business like that. He's got some rich guy supporting him. He helps out on the money end, so the doc can treat the people of Kamarucho. That's amazing. Guess there are still some decent people left in the world, huh? And who was it again that actually supported him? Because that actually... We got a cutscene for that, actually. Did you get hurt again? You sure know how to keep the dog busy. <laughs> no, I'm just visiting someone today. Huh? Young man from the host club? He was hurt pretty badly from what I heard. And again, so were you. And just look at you now. You'd never know you... 
You'd never know you once had a brush with death. Just what are you made of, huh? I owe it a lot. I owe it all to the doctor. <clears throat> Emoto Medical Clinic. That's where Uncle Kuski is, right? Yep. Something up. Well, I was just thinking, can we have some fun after we see you? <laughs> Poor Saruka. Just a second there, buddy. Can I help you? Oh yeah, wait, I think it was... Uh, uh, the Kazuma... The Kazuma family that actually supports... Uh, Emoto. Can I help you? This town's no place to bring a little girl, old man. You get lost on your way to the fun fair. None of your business now. Back off or I'll make you back off. Ooh, I'm so scared. Dude, what's with this asshole? Guy's pissing me off. Sure, pal. Back off. You hand over some cash. I mean, that girl of yours gets an allowance, yeah? How about sharing the wealth? Sorry, not happening. Just fork it over, man. You don't want to get your ass beat in front of your kid, do you? You even a listening, you old fuck? Look, if you get lost now, I'll forget this ever happened. But if you stick around, you're gonna pay. I promise. You think you can take us, asshole? <laughs> you're the one. <laughs> you're the one who's gonna be paying today, man. Either in cash or in blood. Your choice. I'll get you some blood if you want, but it's not gonna be mine if you catch me. Ha, huh, good one. You're gonna regret this. How, like, this entire thing with the Yakuza happened, like, a week or two ago, probably, in Elf Kiwami 1 and Elf Kiwami 2, and everyone's already forgotten who fucking killed Yakuza is. Start just picking fights, fucking dumbasses. Okay, so we're getting fighting tutorial. <laughs> Execute a powerful flinch finishing blow. The type and effect finishing blow will vary depending on how many times you pressed. Tutorial completed. Press O near an enemy to grab him. While holding an enemy, press O to throw or square and triangle to attack. What about ah? Tutorial complete. An object. Uh, Overham can be grabbed just like enemies after grabbing, use it as a weapon. Get the Kuyu. The blue gauge at the upper left of the screen is called the heat gauge. This gate. Hey, he go with this. I want to say 16 months, but it's 19. I can't. I can't read for shit today. I'm sorry, dude. Eco, dude, thank you very much for the resub. 19 months, my dude. That's a lot of months. Mada mada. One point seventy five year. Yeah. I'll uh take that as uh that's true because I have no fucking clue. I can't calculate today at all. I can't read, I can't calculate, I can't do anything today, but press buttons to beat some guys up. <laughs> Well, I don't even have to sprint anymore. Grab or hold them. Beer bottle! Smash! Oh, we just did that with beer bottle. Wanted to use a different one. Let's use this one. No, not the beer bottle again. Give me this. Oh, wait, that... I thought... 
Never mind. You already... You just said that you're not good at thinking today. <laughs> Yet you're still trying to think. How are you doing today, Eco? Rewind time and redo this fight less. No! That is a new option. Who rewinds battles when you kick their ass so badly? You're good. That's good to hear, dude. That's good to hear. Well, had enough shit. I'm sorry, man. We'll get out of your hair. No harm, no foul, yeah? I remember saying you could leave. Hey, please don't kick our ass anymore, old man. You really don't know how to talk to your elders, huh? Am I really gonna have to beat some manners into you? Wait. Oh, no. No more beatings, please. Anything but more beatings. Just please. Let's go. And next time you'll remember your place. Y yeah, of course. I I'm going on the straight and narrow, promise. Nice! He goes free! Get out of here. Oh, thank God. I mean, thank you. Thank God, sir. Come on, boys. Let's leg it. That sucks. It's these days. You all right, Haruka? Mm-hmm. Good, now let's go see Uncle Kazuki. Hey Kazuki, how are you feeling? Oh, cutie son. Did you come all the way here just to see me? The doc says it'll be a while until I can go home, but I'm on the mend at least. Right, you're looking pretty healthy. Thanks. Means a lot coming from you. Um, Uncle Kazuki? Oh, uh, we're actually here to say goodbye. Goodbye? Are you two going somewhere? Kiryu-san, Kiryu-chan. It's not Majima, guys. It's not Majima. It's... Oh. Oh, Kazuki's model compared to the... Oh. It's so bad. Yep. The Go Ryu and the Jing Wong have been dealt with, and Daigo's come around to being the next chairman. My job here is done. Moving to Okinawa. Okinawa, huh? That's pretty far. Yeah, that's kind of the point. Haruka and I are going to be running an orphanage down there. Whoa! Can't say we won't miss you, Kiryu-san, but I'm sure it'll be great. <laughs> Yuya said pretty much the same thing. He also said you'd come visit us. We have been looking for a place to take the boys for some team building. Can't think of a better place than Okinawa. You better not forget. Don't worry, Haruka-chan. We'll visit you soon. Kiryu-san, thank you for everything. I owe you my life. Don't be ridiculous. If it wasn't for me and the Tojo clan, you never would have ended up like this in the first place. I hope you can forgive me. Don't be like that, Kiryu-san. I can't imagine a Kamarucho without you. This town owes you and Kazuma some more than you realize, so please. There's no need to apologize, if you say so. Now, this makes me even more thinking of, like, who the Kazuma person is that shot the Dojima... Uh, the current chairman, like, in a few years. Because this is in the past, and we just had a sequence, like, in the... Uh, off the start of the actual game. So I'm kind of... Of and take care of yourself, Kiryu-san. I will. Feel better soon, Uncle Kazuki? Thanks, Arka-chan. Be good down in Okinawa, okay? Don't want to hear about you getting into any trouble. <laughs> okay, bye! Are you leaving Kamarucho? Yeah. And everything settled down. By the way, how's uh, Kazuki doing? He'll be fine soon enough. Still some time till he'll be out on the street, but he's progressing nicely. Good to know. Did you drop in on the Tojo clan yet? Nope. I'm not planning to. Daigo and yaoi san have enough on their plates already rebuilding the organization. Besides, the Tojo didn't meet me. Don't need me now that Daigo's in charge. Be so sure about that. It's alright. Left a letter for Dai a letter for Daigo over with Kashiwagi san. There's one thing I need though. Hmm? I need to see a certain someone before I leave Kamarucho for good, Majima. And ask him to look after Daigo, huh? Yeah. If we want all the other families to accept Daigo as their leader, we need a big man like Majima to come forward and do it first. Can't you just step in if anyone starts giving him trouble? Why does it have to be Majima? I'm out of the clan, that's why. Besides. What? It's not that long ago that Tojo wanted me dead. Even now, I have my fair share of enemies in the clan. Meaning the Mad Dog's your only option. That's right. I don't know if the Patriarchs would dare mess with Majima, but if Daigo can show he's got him on a leash... 
the other families would have to follow suit. I get it. So, you're gonna go see him now? Yeah. And if I leave Haruka here for a while, Mo well, the girl, of course, of course, no problem at all. Thanks, Emoto. Oji san? Are you going somewhere, Uncle Gas? Yeah, I need to talk to Majima-san before we leave. Can I come? Sorry, but I need you to be the big girl and stay here, okay? Majima-san and I have adult things to discuss, okay? Oh. Well, are you going now? I thought we were going to spend some time together. Maybe a little more time wouldn't hurt. Oh, well, maybe a little more time wouldn't hurt. Yay. Where you want to go? Let's go with karaoke. It's the worst minigame after all. There is already a completion list, food and drinks, Jesus Christ. Eat actions. Hey, we already got two of those, that's good. Minigames! I can't see any of the minigames. What is this, coin lockers? There's not even anything that we can do! Haruka! Haruka! Oh wait, we can. Never mind, I haven't been paying attention. Pronto, Cafe Alps, Sega, where's the karaoke? Nightlife, karaoke, karaoke Ken Kamarucho, uh, nope. Batting centers over there, Mahbo. Uh, I guess we can try some freaking bowling, right? Oji-san? Who are you? Business has really picked up since the Omicron was spoiled out. I should be able to pay my debts now. It's good to hear. That whole mess taught us a lot. We know that we have to fight to protect our homes and businesses. We're going to bring Kamarucho back to the way it used to be. Just you wait. Nice. Good to hear, buddy. I can't, like... You, in the old game, you could, like, walk slowly, but this game with Haruka, you can't walk slowly. Kinda sucks. Let's see how much I suck at bowling. Uh, oh, Haruka, come on. Run faster, girl. I don't even remember where the entrance is. Northwest Theater. I wouldn't be surprised that we actually couldn't do anything. <laughs> and that's just uh, them being like, ha. Okay. We can do bowling. Nice. Talk. Welcome. Bow with Haruka. Play with my friend. 900 yen. Alright. Please take your time and enjoy yourself. Use the right and left buttons to choose where you want to stand to confirm with a direction. Okay. So that's pretty much still the same, but it doesn't look like there are different bowling balls this time around. Jesus Christ, kid you, you can't, you can't even aim. Okay, so I always go stand like about here. There. Just go full throttle. I should have probably done a bit of spin, but a strike is a strike. Ha! Strike! Aruka's turn. Aruka doesn't have that much power. Wouldn't it be funny if Haruka actually made a strike as well? Aww. Only one! Arika, you need more power! Look at the fucking skill on this little girl. Is that gonna hit? No way. <laughs> Spare! It's a little bit too much. This should be good. No! No strike! Mm. 
probably too far. Boom. Yosh. Yosh. Eh. Almost, Haruka. Almost. Curve the ball! Look at Haruka being fucking pro. I can't uh, do that. Too much of a pleb. Uh, should do it, hopefully. Oh no, that that didn't do it at all. That fucked it all up. Yikes. Well. Oh! Look, Haruka now throwing a fucking strike and kicking my ass. <sighs> After playing fucking Hollow Knight and Dark Souls 2, I really needed this. This is just so chill. This is like, oh, I don't have to. I don't have to worry. Let's just go play mini games. Please come again. I guess we gotta get the chicken thing again. Need to hit three strikes in a row. Okay, let's just continue the story because there's not much that we can do. Like, why can we not, like, walk anymore? Oh, we can. Just need to, like, not. I really hope that we don't have to do too much shit with Arika. Oh wait, am I? No, stay, Arika Chan. It has to be now. All right, just don't take too long, okay? Meet up with Majima. Go see Majima somewhere in town. Guess I'll have to track down to his family business. Which is where? Talk to this guy. You might know. Stardust on the Keach Street is top host uh. close Kamarucho. The cops are cracking down on clubs bringing in customers off the street. This place staff are having trouble staying out of the reds, but Stardust is popular as ever. Stan. Got a reputation for not overcharging, just letting their customers have fun, you know? Really, I think you can chalk it up to Kuski and Yuya, the owner and, ma and the manager. They run an honest business and their host trusts them. See. But there's been a lot of trouble at Stardust lately. They don't pay uh, protection money, so they get harassed by the local Yakuza pretty mm. often. Still, I guess that's part what makes the place so appealing. They don't make deals with those brutes. I didn't say anything about where. If you need to talk to Majima's son about the f I need to talk to Majima's son. Someone from his family should know where he is. Huh? Well, 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 look who it is. Oh, you're the rest from before, and what now? Ah, uh, think you're a hot shit, huh? This is the guy, Senpai. Ho ho, so you're the one who beat up my tender little friend here, huh? You're in trouble now, old man. Our senpai here is in the Kazuma family. Yeah, that's right. The guy who owns this damn town. Well, you're shitting yourself. Yeah, uh, get this bitch. He's so scared he can't even talk. What's wrong? Can't cut your tongue? Where I hear it, you were acting real tough towards my pals here not too long ago. Guess what? I'm here to even the odds. Uh, man, I got Kazuma family pin right here. They don't go handing these out on the streets, you know, I'm a big man. Now, if you don't want to meet my big fists, I might 
to find it in my heart to forgive you for a price. <laughs> the sh <laughs> the shit are you laughing at? The Kazuma family pin, huh? Funny. Back in my day, nobody dare brag about their loyalty without knowing who they were up against. That's how you get yourself killed, kid. Oh yeah? Look, just do yourself a favor and run along now. And run along now. I'm not interested in wasting my time with scum like you. You think you can boss Kazuma family boys around? We're gonna bash your fucking brains in. <sighs> He's not even in a suit! He can't be- he can't be in the Kazuma clan. To guard yourself the frontal attacks, however, this does not work against attack from rear. Come on, try and punch me, guys. Uh -huh. Sidestepping does feel way better than in Kiwami 2. That was absolutely trash in Kiwami 2. This concludes the basic battle tutorial. Now show these tugs. Sumida! Suzuki. Oh, how I miss this, just beating the shit out of people. Grab one of these poles. Boom. Like, I really like challenging myself with things, right? But just clearly playing something like this, ugh. Feels so good. Feels so good, man. Look how they now also like bend over if they're like weakened in three. It's not bad. I kind of like that they did that for three. No, we don't want to redo this lesson. What happened? I thought you were gonna teach me a lesson. Shit, he's strong. What in the high hell's going on over here? Someone's causing trouble on our turf. I think he helped. This guy is gonna wreck us. Like, looks like he already did. <laughs> Hiroshi. He starts shit with you. Yeah, he's got beef with the Kazuma family or something. Hold your horse there. The ones who started this, not me. Shut up, you old bitch. Well, if it ain't the fourth chairman. How have you been? Huh? Don't haw me. Go and introduce yourself, idiot. This man is Kazuma Kiryu, Tojo Clan 4th Chairman. What? Him? What? It's an honor to meet you, sir. <laughs> you there. You're Kazuma family, right? Yes, sir. The name's Aniki. But you can call me Aniki Aniki. <laughs> I think I'll just stick to Aniki. Anyway, do you know where I can find Majima-san? Hmm, that's a good question. Since he left Tojo Clan to start majima Con Construction, it's been impossible to know where he might pop up. Though, now I think about it, he actually scheduled for a meeting with the boss today. You might catch him over at the Kazuma family office if you're looking lucky. Thanks, I'll take a look. Oh, and uh, for chairman, yeah. My boys didn't offend you, did they? Nah, it was nothing. They could just use a little more education is all. That's so. Guess I'll have to beat some manners into them. Don't worry, I already did. 
just keep an eye on them. Make sure they take the lesson they've learned to heart today. I'll do that, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, I should get going. <laughs> Goodbye, fourth chairman. <laughs> 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 fucking idiots, man. Don't you just fucking love that? Upgrades. Uh, the Phoenix Spirit automatically refills up the heat gauge if health is flashing red. Komaki cat like reflexes. Body increases the maximum limit of your health gauge. Sense of ruthlessness. I think we'll go with uh, heat first. Probably afterwards, soul or something. It's a different, it's every single time it's a different, uh, like leveling system, right? And it's not... Don't get me wrong, I don't think that's a bad idea. Because it's not like I like the other ones especially much. But, uh, yeah, these are uh, pretty decent. I do think I will like this one better. It's just easy level up. Oh, kiryu son. It's Nishida, right? What are you up to? Oh. Well, the boss had some business with Kashi wagi so I came over with him. But once we got here, he told me to just go home. The problem is, if I really do up and leave, I'll totally get chewed out later. I'm sticking around for now. Huh. I was actually heading over to see Majima myself. Is he still with Kashi wagi -san? Doubt it. Boss things meetings are the most boring shit in the world, so I doubt it lasts longer than half an hour. Where is he now? On the roof, most likely, looking down on the city. He may not look it, but he's actually big softy. I'm sure he's torn up about you leaving Kamaruchi Kiryu son. And hey, don't tell the boss I said he's soft. I think I'd end up losing an eye myself if he found out. <laughs> I won't. Take care of yourself, Nishida. Same goes for you, Kiryu son. Oh, before you go, the boss has been kind of catty lately. You might want to be careful. Who knows what will set him off. You know what? Here, you should take this. Better safe than sorry. You got a stamina X. Stamina X. Free healing from this guy because he's worried. Oh, that's so nice. What a nice guy. Yep. What are you getting at, Kiryu-chan? I think I was pretty clear. I can't seriously- you can't seriously want me to go back to the tojo. I do. Well, too bad. Ain't much point in it now. Clan's just not the barrel of monkeys it used to be. Listen, Majima-san, Daigo's taking over a sixth chairman, but he could end up in some trouble with the family of his own. Meaning you want me to muscle back him up. Please. Your family is the only thing that can save the tojo clan now. Gonna have to pass, Majima-san. Come on, Kiryu-chan. You know what I'm like? Living life caged up like a damn shelter dog ain't my scene. And you know it. But that's exactly what I'm doing. Giving up my freedom to keep my family afloat. God damn it! Timing from it needing to take my meds. Oops. Didn't even hurt my ass. Yuri, yuri, does he? Give me a sec, guys. That didn't mute my mic.
And we're back. <clears throat> but that's exactly what I'm doing. Giving up my freedom to keep my family afloat. Now you come marching in up here asking me to babysit your little protege on the top of that. Sorry, that ain't gonna happen. Somehow I knew you'd say that. Majima-san, you want to be free, right? Yep. And instead you're feeling trapped, cooped up. Yep. Well, then this is the perfect chance for you to break out. Huh? The flying shit are you talking about? Once Daigo takes over, there will be no shortage of people for you to fight. You can go wild like you've never gone before. How's that? You can be his enforcer. Anyone that even thinks about betraying Daigo, you'll get full license to put them back in line. You saying what I think you're saying, Kiryu-chan? You bet. It's time Kamurucho sees that the Majima family, what the Majima family can really do. So I'm not asking you to babysit Majima-san. I'm asking you to let loose, because the more you kick, the better off Tojo clan is, and Daigo will be. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that! わかってるやろな。俺は強いやつが好きや。俺に命令できんのは強いやつだけや。ああ。俺を登場会に戻したかったら、俺に勝ってから命令せや。やっぱりそう来たか。さあ、始めようか、<笑> キリュちゃん。Now this is how I like starting off freaking game. <laughs> Majima, what is that? What is that Fujita pose there? <laughs> This is, how, this is how you get me excited for a game, guys. Just start off with a freaking fight against one of the best characters in the series. around like a little bitch. Because I'm definitely still lacking in a lot of abilities. do sword charge attacks. Okay, I do need to use uh, an item here. I like that Majima has a change of battle style, though. I do miss my ground stomps. Ah. 
Ah, damn it. Too soon. When nearing victory against a powerful enemy, you are able to perform Super Finisher. If your heat gauge isn't filled, rapidly press R2 to enter heat mode. And press! Senpai coming in with the hopes. Why did that not proc anything on my end though? I just happened to see it. How are you doing, dude? Strong as a fucking ox. I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Kore de Homma ni wakarea na. Ah. Sami shikunaru na, Kirito. Looking forward to playing some Yakuza again. I needed something chill in my life. Or, well, not as exhausting as fucking Dark Souls or Hollow Knight. <laughs> I didn't see what he said. もし It's a good series, man. It's really good and it's really fun and it has its super anime weird-ass moments. It's an, it's an expensive series to get completely, but it's definitely worth it. Majimaguro. <sighs> It's gonna rule the fucking world! Ajima son, best character in the fucking game. <clears throat> uh... Senpai, did you see the comic that I made? <laughs> I was like, I was making it and then I went streaming and I continued with it. It took me like a complete 13 hours to finish. And I, I should not whatsoever have actually like... Uh, six months later, summer 2007. Nice. I, I should not have like done that instantly in one go. It was way too much. <laughs> Chopping onions, making sure he doesn't cry. Right? The Instagram version got chopped up because the files were too big. But, uh... On, Insta uh, on Twitter it's better to see.
put so much effort into that shit. みんな揃ってからってルールでしょ。はい。はい。集まったわね。お、俺泉は？え？泉ちゃんどこだろう。知らない。白。あんた今日学校から一緒に帰ってこなかった？あ、帰ってきたけど。うん？ どうした知らない。どこ行っちゃったんだろう。いいじゃん。先に食べちゃおうよ。そうだよ。別に大丈夫だって。おじさん、どうする？よし、探してこよう。お前たちは食べてていいぞ。Ojisan finds Izumi. Hmm, I think Izumi went. Heart safe, sure. I'll go look around outside. You check in the house, Haruka. All right. You now have access to a hideout. Oh, here you can save your game, move items to the item box, reminisce on past events, and view your play stats. Furthermore, your health will recover while you're at the hideout. Uh, this does not look like an exit. Gertie needs to go figure out what this game is all about. Uh, we need this one. We want this one. I'm just gonna level up everything one at a time. I think that's probably the best bet. There's the exit. <laughs> Walking to sprinting. Jesus, map. Oh. Oh, there's... Let's go talk to everyone, see if they've seen... Hi there. Well, it isn't Kiryu, son. Need anything, dearie? Izumi is supposed to be home for dinner, but I can't seem to find her. Have you seen her around? Oh. I'm pretty sure I saw her walking down the beach. She was looking kind of glum, now that I think about it. Right, thanks. I'll take a look. Is Michan over the Morning Glory Orphanage the same age as you, but she's so polite and always a smile on her face. You should be more like her. Is me smiling? No way. She's a total mope. And she never stops fidgeting. Maybe if she had parents, she wouldn't be such a weirdo. Tadashi! How could you? She lost her parents in a terrible accident, the poor thing. You be nice to her, you hear? Aw, I don't wanna. Kids, so rude. Kids are so evil. Senpai, what are your plans for today, dude? Oh, even in there, Kiryu son. Has a little scrap of land been treating you? Can't be too bad. What with the beachfront view and all? Haha, <laughs> sorry. Miria san, but I don't have time for small talk right now. Have you seen Izumi? Izumi chan, you can't say I have. Damn. Hmm. You check down the beach. I see her there staring at the ocean every now and again. Might be a good place to start. I'll do that. Thanks, Miria san. No problem at all. Imagine she spends that time reminiscing about her parents. She lost them at such a young age. A kid's in the morning glory orphanage sure are great. Kiri Sam has set quite an example for them, don't you think? I always see them playing so nicely together on the beach. Certainly. They certainly are an energetic bunch. After their previous director passed, I was worried that the kids wouldn't have anyone to look after them. Thank goodness Kiryu san came from Tokyo. It may look a little intimidating, but the kids love him, and he seems like a really nice guy. And the girl he brought with him, Haruka-chan, was it? She's so responsible, cooking and cleaning like that. Kids from the mainland sure are dependable. Ha! <laughs> oh, lord. This is... This is such a 2007 look on things. Give me a sec. What is this? Ex ex examine. Something on the ground. Take the fishing champ magazine. Take it. You got the fishing champ magazine. What's wrong, he's mean. You're usually the first one at the dinner table. Don't want to eat right now. Are you feeling okay? 
something definitely bothering her. Something happened at school. Come on, Izumi, you can tell me. I'm oh, Kaz. What's up? Is not having parents a bad thing? Huh? Better kids at school were making fun of me because I don't have mom and dad. Not that they even get brought up. Well, bring your parents to school day is pretty soon, so everyone start asking what I was gonna do. They they said my parents can't come because they're dead. It's awful. No one knows I live here with you, Uncle Cass. And it's not like I want you to pretend to be my dad or anything, but but what is me? You can tell me. It's it's really hard. Like some of the other parents can come because they're too busy, but nobody makes fun of those kids. Why not? Why can't I just have a real family like everyone else? You do have one, Izumi. You do have family, Izumi, huh? Me, Haruka, and everyone else. I don't get it. So family is come in all shapes and sizes. Having a real mom and dad isn't what matters here. But what matters is that you're surrounded by people who love you for who you are. But we're not related. Well, there's more to it than that. Related or not, you mean the world to all of us. That alone is enough to make us family. And besides, I don't think your classmates were really making fun of you. They've spent their whole lives with their moms and dads right by their side. They can't imagine it any other way. I'm sure they just don't realize how lonely life as an orphan can be. Then, they didn't think I'm weird? That's right. If anything, I'd say they were genuinely concerned about you feeling lonely. I was an orphan too. I know just how hard it can be. Even so, I always think of the man who brought me up as my real dad. And- Oh, oh my god! This is gonna- be, Oh, why does the Yakuza series do this so well? This is gonna break my heart! Th that Kazuma better, better not be the real Kazuma. Kazuma. Cause, uh... Sucks. From my orphanage. They're my siblings. All my time there, the idea of not having a real family never ever crossed my mind. So you see, you have everything you could ever need right here in Morning Glory. Your family's just as real as any other kids at school. You don't need to be jealous of them, I'm not. It's just, they say things sometimes. When they do, you can tell them this. I'm not alone, I have nine people in my family. Nine? Me, Arika, and the others. That makes nine. We're a family, huh? Yeah. わかった。私頑張る。泉ちゃん、みんなが待ってるよ。朝顔に戻ろう。ほら、泣かないでもう。さあ、今日は彼ら。戻って腹いっぱい食べよう。Damn, these kids are ugly. お前ら。泉がいねえのに食べられないからな。もうお腹ペコペコだよ。いいから早く座れ。途中で。泉ちゃん、早く早く。うん。<笑><笑> おじさん、早く。早く食べようよ。うん。よし。それじゃ。いただきます。美味しいね。<笑><笑> 
Jordy, it's just a game. Like, there's such a giant ass difference, right? Another six months later. Between, like. Playing a Dark Souls game and playing something like this. Look at those guys being like, and in the end, uh, a little bit later, they become like, uh, The big boss. The big boss. Cass, we don't have to leave, do we? Not if I can help it. I'm not about to let those guys kick us out of our home. They must be your Yudo family boys. It's been sending us those letters. One way or another, I'm gonna have to... Uh, it's gonna have to stop. I can't have them keep scaring you guys. Should pay this Ryudo family a little visit. Don't worry, Ayaka, I'm not planning on getting into any fights. And if they're Yakuza, just be careful, Uncle Cass. I will. Back tonight. Go to the Yudo family office. The monorail is the best way to get downtown Yukon, you know. And if you have a pass, the trip's totally free. You've got one, don't you? Then be sure to take the advantage of it. Gotta get your money's worth after all. And look around on the beach. Maybe there are some interesting items laying around. Look, this for example looks like something washed ashore. In the box washed ashore, take the wooden box, take it. Must be some side quest stuff, a worm in the box. Oh, it's for fishing. Free fishing items, I guess. Is there a fucking coconut here, though? Looks like a coconut, at least. Items. Okay, we don't get experience for just doing story stuff. But that's fine, I guess. Oh. Okay, that's a little bit annoying that this button does not open the map. Hey, Midia-san, what's wrong? Oh, Midia-san, some little big shot Yakuza boys from the Rido family came by and said they were going to boot me off my land, or else they put a boot up my ass. They come threaten you too? Yeah, so they are the Rido family, huh? Oh. Mm -hmm. Not that I care, they can't come waving their deed in front of me all they want, but kicking me out? No, sir. My wife and I have been calling this tiny speck of earth home for decades now. No way I'm going to simply roll over and let them take that away from us. Imagine you have similar concerns with your kids and all. Yeah. I'm gonna talk to them, see if there's any way we can forget about this whole thing. Oh. That would be fantastic, Kitty son. I wish I knew why they were doing all this all of a sudden. The two kids the family has working for them uh, for them are usually so polite. Oh, hello, Kitty son. Heading out for the day, yeah. Thought I'd go downtown. I just came back from there. Ryuka Boulevard is swarming with tourists right now. I was only trying to run some errands, but people kept stopping me to ask nearly everything under the sun. I wish Okinawa wasn't so popular. I know what you mean. <laughs> if you're looking to pick up some ingredients for dinner, try the Kariyushi Arcade or the Public Market. Oh, I like this game so much. And we haven't even really started yet. I find these mo character models with their bulged backs like that for the old people so funny. They haven't done that in the previous one yet. And the other ones, kind of somewhere around here. So I should start by looking for those guys from before. Pretty sure they were driving a little blue, blue truck. Ugh. Okay, this place is not too big. You have a look list. Smiley Burger. 
Umachi Dinard. Abisu Pom. Oh. Abisu Pom is everywhere, apparently. Let's go in there right away, actually, sell that golden plate that I have. Doesn't look like there are many things to pick up from the street, though. You're the shiny son. Let's see what this guy actually sells for interesting stuff. Uh, popularity bracelets. This will make you popular with the ladies, guarantee. <laughs> God damn it. Protective, lucky bracelet. Rumors bring good luck to its wearers. Vouch for it myself. Tiger skin, bat, dark wooden sword. Check out. Arigato. Okay, not much. In there. Everything was kind of ABC, drug market. As uh, the boulevard, never mind. Uh, drug mark. No, I can't actually go in there yet. It sucks. That wouldn't be too bad of a place to actually go. Get some. I uh, bought way too many souvenirs at Okinawa. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be a pain carrying all this stuff around town. I can't check into my hotel yet either. Wait, I think I saw some coin operator lockers earlier. Maybe I can put my stuff in there. I can carry it all. That is. Okay. Oh, you thinking bumping into me? What was that? It wasn't you? Bullshit, was it? Now get on your knees and apologize, or I'll make you apologize. I guess uh, you're gonna make me apologize. Oh, there's another guy. They look so much more beat up as well. Hey, all right, all right. I'm sorry. Here, just take me, leave me alone. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Hello. Excuse me. Looking for the Okinawa restaurant called Umachi, but we can't seem to find it. Well, to tell you the truth, I just arrived there myself, so I don't think I'll be much help. Oh, well, see. Where are the locals? They're hiding! There are too many tourists, so they're hiding! <laughs> uh, love this. Looking for some guys from the Yuda family. Won't worry, Hawaiian shirt and Yoda was blonde. Oh, those guys saw them in front of the convenience store over there. Thanks. I actually can go in. Oh, wait, there. I didn't even notice the red thing there. Anything fun? Nope. Go fishina. Yo, Simpira. Fuck you! なんだ、もう 
沖縄から出ていけそれが立ち退きの理由かさあなどうしても知りてえなら直接親父に聞くんだがちょっと待てどこへ行く気だ流動一家の事務所お前らの親父とやらに会いに行くあ兄貴今すぐ組に連絡をあわざわざ組に連絡入れるようなことするんじゃねえ俺らの仕事はあんたの監視だだが好き勝手に事務所に行ってもらうような真似されちゃ困るんだよそんなことされたら俺の顔が潰れちまうじゃあどうすればいいどうしても生きてえってなら俺を倒してからにしろほうそんなことでいいのかなめた口聞いてんじゃねえぞおっさんてめえ頭に本当に勝てると思ってんのか頭そうだ兄貴は天下の流動一家の若頭捨て頃のハブこと Look at that angry face of his. Yeah, I'm okay. Huh? ハブは沖縄の魂だ。俺は沖縄の心を背負ってんだよ。相当地元のことを好きなんだなそうよ内地のあんたに本物の沖縄もんの強さを教えてやるぜ見てよてめえは絶対に手出すなあはい覚悟はいいなああいつだふん<笑>Didn't smash fast enough. It's actually not too bad. What did you get at the store, Hiko? 
Damn, he keeps booking all my shit, man. Not bashing fast enough. to wait for that opening to get behind him and then like land a combo but AI is a lot better in this game than I uh, thought they were gonna be Especially with their booking. I don't actually have any good offensive moves yet to like break through. I've tried so hard and got so far. Am I really gonna get butchered by this guy? Actually, <laughs> I remember that I can just walk around and do this. Deal nearly no damage to this guy, it's so frustrating. Such a weak little boy. Head press!
Hey, hey. Pfft. Snake charmer. どうだ。内地の腰抜けのおっさんのパンチはいたかったか。約束だ。お前の親人のところに案内してもらおうか。はい。わかりました。You get fucking clobbered, mate. Torito off, so we go. Come on, follow me. Sounds good. Run ahead and let the boss know we're coming. Got it on the key. I wanted to ask you about that tattoo you have. What about it? You said a five person symbol of Okinawa, right? Then why'd you leave its eye blank? Oh well, my tattoo guy ended up passing away before he could get all the finishing touches in, so I decided to just leave it that way. To get someone else finished up? I mean, I've thought about it and all, but I don't know if some random other artist could do his work justice. Guess, with how important the Viper is, I gotta have someone who's real in tune with the soul of Okinawa. I haven't found anyone like that since my old guy died, though. You know, Kinakuma has nothing to do with it. The best of two artists, how the best reflect a man's soul, no matter the theme. Master artists should be able to do your Viper gesture justice. Well, then I hope I can find one someday. It's a big place. I'm sure you'll come across someone sooner or later. Yeah, you might be right. Anyway, we should get moving. The boss will be waiting for us. So my HP stays low, right? Yeah. Counter attack while down and enhanced all actions. Speed of combo attacks is pretty nice. Soul. Uh, 11, right? I think we're going with tech real quick here first. Then the next one into heat. Yeah, where are you heading? You look like you're busting a dang gut over here. Huh? Just taking him to see the boss. That guy? Whoa, he's built. You look like a little kid with those tiny arms of you, Rikia. Haha, uh -huh. come on. And don't be like that. It was just a little joke. Hey, pal, you're not from around here, huh? No, but I've been on the island for almost a year now. Ooh, a convert. How you're liking Okinawa, friend? Probably never want to step foot on mainland again, huh? Listen, Matt, we're kind of in a hurry, so all right, all right, run along. Right, and ask the boss if he wants to grab a drink tonight, will you? Sure. See ya. Sorry about that. This way. Chan, come say hello. Sorry, I'm kind of in a hurry here. Say the guy who spends all his time sitting on his tush. Ah, gosh, that's too funny. You and Miki Chan spend more time lounging around getting fat than doing actual work. Come on, not in front of the guest. What a guest he is. If only I were 20 years younger and a couple inches taller. Mm -hmm. Is that shit all you old ladies think about? Seriously, you're embarrassing me here. Anyway, we really gotta get going. One sec, Riki Chan. I just got some nice bitter melon in, so I'll whip up a big old batch of Goya Champlou for you boys. I can bring it around the office later. I can't hang with the bitter shit, you know that. Anyway, no time to be standing around. We go. We're going. Try bringing that can-do attitude to your work, too. 
You and Miki-chan can't keep goofing off all day. Sorry, she's kind of nosy. It's like the locals are pretty good terms with Ryu, though. Hey there, Mikio. The boss in sight. Yep, getting ready for our guest here. Well, it's the Ryudo family office. Come on in. Kuchira this. Dozo. Dozo. This is definitely something. Is she good at drawing? No, it's definitely not the same person. But it's definitely... Kazuma also shot this guy. あんたが桐生さんか。うちの力が変わってもらったようだな。あんたに話があってきた。ああ、立ち退きの件だろう。そうだ。どうして俺らが立ち退かなきゃならないのか。訳が知りたい。うん。さっき。おい、さっき。ちょっとこのおじちゃんと話があるんだ。部屋に戻っててもらえるかな。Okay, more puzzle pieces. Who's the girl? My daughter, named Saki. You have a daughter? Not by blood. I took her in, oh, three years ago now. Hmm. Now about those eviction notes, I'm listening. I'm really sorry to doing this to you, but I don't have a ton of choice in the matter. Why is that? Well, the family's owned the land you're sitting on for decades now. We built a house over there ourselves, and we've been subletting them since, but... Now potential buyers come knocking, and we're not planning on tearing them down. Wants the land? Yep. Sounds like it's gonna be the site of some fancy, smarty new resort. Hmm. You hadn't heard? This is my first time, yeah. Well, the word is they're gonna pop a big resort on the land your little neighborhood's on now. Either that or use it for a brand new American military base. It's been all over the news, so that's why we're trying to evict this. Yep. I've gotta admit, my feelings are kinda mixed on the whole sh shebang. <laughs> what a word. Being Okinawa born and raised and all. But who am I to stand in the way of progress? So what do you say? Think of it as favor. Me and the rest of your uniform really owe you one. Look, uh, Rikia told me about the orphanage. Trust me, I know from Saki how hard raising kids that age can be. But you mainlanders are practically made of money, right? Can't you just take the kids somewhere else? And if you really need extra crash, we might be able to spot you a little something. Not bad deal, huh? <clears throat> I get where you're coming from. Huh? あんたの言い分は通っている。だがな。所詮それは極道の勝手な都合ってやつだ。何俺も昔は極道だ。他人の生活に同速で。Next to finding reasons to ruin other people's lives. Anything I was too good at it. だがな。that's no excuse. You realize what would happen to those kids if you get it your way. Listen close, as long as I'm around my orphanage, everyone in that is staying put. Bullshit we are.
縄で生まれて60年。Old Okinawa fart. But I'm not gonna let some mainland punk talk to me like that. You get it? You get me? You get me, son? Huh?今俺をここで殺して、子供たちを追い出して、あなたそれで満足なのか。沖縄のことを愛しているなら俺たちを立ち退かせることよりももっと他に考えることがあるんじゃないのかあんたが暴力で向かってくるなら構わないその時こっちも手加減なしにやらせてもらうぜ The plot thickens. Loving this game so far. This is not your typical bad Yakuza shit. Either that's like, oh. Power struggle. Suzuki-no-news-des.来年度,民事党が衆議院での通過を目指している Defense Minister Yuzo Tamiya. Yuzo防衛大臣と同時に開発が進められているリゾート開発の責任者、鈴木義信国土交通大臣が今日揃って現地沖縄へ視察に訪れました。日本防衛の鍵とも言われる弾道ミサイル防衛システム、通称新BM
You talked to those guys in the truck, right? How did it go? They wanted to buy us out, but I turned them down. Somehow, I doubt that's the end of it, though. Mm. Cass, are we going to have to leave Okinawa? Don't worry, Haruka. I'm not gonna let that happen. Trust me, everything's gonna be fine. Yeah, I believe in you. Good. You better. Almost forgot. What's up? Well, it's probably nothing, but Shiro's been kind of down since he got home from school. Wonder why. Did you ask him what's wrong? Yeah, but it didn't seem like he wanted to talk to me. Give it a shot. Thanks for letting me know. Time to find Shiro. Stress level. Nice. Item box? Anything? Really? Uh, are you Shiro? But you have seen Shiro around? Um, nope. What about you, Riona? I haven't seen him either. But maybe he's off playing somewhere? Anyway, this boy in my class, Odakum. Odakun. Girls have any idea where Shiro is? I don't. Air Chan? Is me Chan? Nope. Nah. -uh. So Taichi and Mitsu are playing on the beach. Maybe he's with them. So take a look. Ooh, item. And on the ground, take the worm. Seriously? Sure, we'll pick up all worms. What is this? Not a box. Take it. Demon stone. Ooh. Now that sounds scary. What is that? Demon's hideous face carved on the stone. It has something to do with the guardian with a guardian fate. Maybe you can sell it. Well no till we try. Is Shiro with you too? Yeah, Tai Chi bomb! Ow. I hit so hard, Tai Chi. Yeah, there's more where that came from. Chi explosion! I asked you a question, Tai Chi. Come on, Uncle Cass, can't you see we're busy? Break for one second. Do either of you know where Shiro is? Uh, maybe in our room. We asked if he wanted to play, but he said no. Tai Chi blast! We're ready. It's her full of energy, just try not to get hurt, okay? But be careful. You're never careful. Guess I'll take a look inside. You're never careful. That is something for sure. Hey there, Shiro. Everything okay? Fine. You don't look fine. Everyone else having fun outside, but you're sitting here all by yourself. Are you sure you're okay? Just leave me alone. Something happened in school? No. What do you mean? You're at age that boys start now. It's not like that. Just leave me alone, okay? That's what was wrong. Stomach hurt? Not really. Hmm. The other kids know something. Let's go talk to the kids again! <laughs> hey, something is up with Shiro. You two know anything if it happened at school? I don't. We barely see each other most days. Oh, you, Riona. Same. He's in way lower grade than me, so our classes are really far away. Sorry, it's alright. You need to figure out what's wrong, Uncle Cass? Or are you gonna do that? Easy, I'll just put Tim in the hat look. Tell him. Hey, that's a good idea, but I'll take. Come on, you two. Should be looking out for Shiro and not trying to beat him up. That's what being older siblings all about. I thought you knew that. Never mind. I'll do it. Keep your hands to yourself, Koji. You're just gonna make things worse. Alright. Aiko, what's up, Uncle Cass? This is about Shiro. Yeah, something's definitely up. Do you know if he's having trouble at school? Sure. 
We're not in the same grade. Have you heard anything, Yuzumi Chun? Um, nope, we're in different class, so, right. You need to try asking him? Nah, it's okay. He's gonna open up to anyone. That's probably be another guy. I'll give it another shot. Taichi Mitsuo. Not now, Uncle Cass. I was just about to go for the body slam. Thanks for rest and listen. Alright, what's up? It's about Shiro. Wait, wasn't he? Yeah, it was, but he won't talk to me. He's just sitting curled up in the corner. He's been doing that a lot lately. What? Why? Probably because he's been getting bullied. Bullied? How do you know? I found him crying in the boys' room at school a couple of weeks ago, so I asked him what was wrong. And he told me about the bullying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's been getting worse, though. Makes you say that. Well, I thought it'd be funny to barge in on him when he was taking a bath, but he had bruises all over uh. his body. He doesn't do sports or nothing, so he wouldn't have come in from that. Did you tell teacher? Nah, -uh. the bullying would get worse if you tattled. Besides, I've heard enough. I'll tell you to the teacher myself. Wait, Uncle Cass, I don't know if that's such a good idea. Or the UQ Elementary, Hashimoto speaking. Hi there. My name is Kiryu from Morning Glory and Orphanage, right? You must be the guardian for all those poor kids. Who are you exactly? Oh, just wanted to teach here at school. Perfect. I'm actually calling about one of my kids, Shiro. Could, she, could I speak to his teacher? That would be me. It seems to be a problem. Well, I have reason to believe he's getting bullied. Bullied? What evidence do you have for that? Some kind of joke? Trust me, I'm not the joking type. Hold up in his room right now, talking to anyone. Apparently, there have been bruises on his body too. Sure, there's no no chance such awful behavior will be taking place at our school. About the other orphans, who knows what those kids of yours get up to without the parents around to keep them in check? What did you say? Honestly, I'm sick and tired of all these nervous parents whining to me about their children. It's them is your responsibility, not mine. Wow, Jesus, I hate teachers like this. They suck ass. I suppose your case may be lost cause. Goodbye, kitty son. What was his problem? Uncle Cass, don't worry. Taichi, I'm gonna make sure this never happens again, but it's okay. I'll get Sherry to talk. Poor Shiro. Shiro, I want you to tell me what happened. You can trust me, Shiro, please. All I want for you is to be happy, you and everyone else here. I'm not just gonna stand around doing nothing when you're clearly in need of help. Come on, just tell me what's going on. Someone bullying you? Right. If I have to talk with your school, you can't. Why not? I spoke with your teacher, but he wasn't a lot of help. Shiro. know a lot about being going on. You can point me in the right direction. Taichi. Oh, Uncle Cass, don't tell anyone about this, but do you think you can find out who's been bullying Shiro for me? Or you know, that's what I was trying to tell you before. Who is it? Some kid named Yoshinori, but... What? It's kind of complicated. Yoshinori is the son of Shiro's teacher, Hashimoto. What? Are you sure? Shimoto would be in big trouble if he admitted his own son was a bully, so I don't know if he'll fuss up. Well, now I really need to get involved. I better check with Shiro again to make sure I could pass. That is even worse. Shiro, Taiji told me about what's been going on. Has the teacher's son really been bullying you? Why didn't you tell me sooner? Please, Shiro, I need you to talk to me. Yoshi Nori, he said. He said his dad plays golf with Akasaka uh, Sensei from the city council. He'd get them to shut Morn and Glory down if I tattled on him. Guess that apple doesn't fall far from the tree. It's okay, Shiro, don't cry. I'm crying, I'm just frustrated. Yoshinori only picks on kids when he knows they're not gonna fight back. It's not right. Right, Morn and Glory is not going anywhere, huh? I promise, the so next time he tries to mess with you, I want you to stand up for yourself, you hear me? Mm hmm. The next day, 
figured out why Shira is so down, but that's not enough. I've got to fix it somehow. How can I solve the problem? Everything okay, Kiryu-san? You look kind of worried. Hi there, Miryu-san. It turns out Shira's been getting bullied at school. What? Who would go after a sweet kid like Shira-kun? I'd like to give them peace of my mind. Well, the kid's name is Yoshinora, but his dad's a real problem. Apparently, he's pretty tight with the... Uh, Akasaka-sensei. Meaning, if I don't do anything about this the right way, they'll get city council to come shut down the orphanage, really. Doesn't seem like the Asa uh, Akasaka I know, but you know him. Of course, he's famous around these parts. Well, as famous as a city councilman can be. Anyway, he's definitely the honest type, not the kind of guy to use his position to set up grudges. Why don't you go talk to him? He loves chatting with his constituents, so I'm sure he'll be willing. Even so, I can just march into City Hall over this. Maybe if there was somewhere else I could run into him. Why don't you try the golf course? Why the golf course? That's where he spends most of his free time. They say he wouldn't be caught dead without this trusty set of clubs. Apparently he loves it so much he forgets to eat sometimes, but golf balls can fill an empty stomach, you know? Hmm. Even he finds time to work. Second that cute you, son. Anyway, the monorail is the best way there. Just get off the golf course station. You're golden. Thanks a ton, Miria son. Time to go find out if those rumors are true. Now take the taxi or monorail to the golf trip. Is this a cab? Uh, just use this. Where do you want to go? Golf course station. Welcome, sir. Remember of club? Well, no, I... Ah, so you're a visitor. Do you have a guest pass? Uh, this apology service is a highly exclusive club for local businessmen and government officials only. If you don't have any invitation from a current member, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I'm very sorry, damn it. Am I ever going to find Akasaka if I can't even get in the club? If you'll allow me to intrude. Hmm. Here you don't have a guest pass. Yeah, I didn't realize it was a private club. In that case, why don't you join me for a couple of holes? Really? I was actually meant to meet a friend here, but it seems he won't be showing up. I suppose he had some last minute business to attend. I'm not too fond of playing by myself, though. If you wouldn't mind joining me, I'd be glad to have you along. And who are you exactly? <laughs> ah, where are my manners? My name is Akasaka. You mean from the city council? Ah, I take you've heard of me. May I ask your name? It's Kiryu. Thank you, Kiryu. So shall we play? Let's do it. Talk about luck. Definitely luck. This is the perfect chance for me to get close to Akasaka. Oh, good lord. Change, short range, swing, build a power set, impact timing. Oh, my lord. I've never played this. This seems like something. Take the first shot if you don't mind. Be my guest. Use L1 and R1 to adjust the shot direction. Change the club by tilting the right stick up and down. Huh. Press triangle to change the shot range to half the distance. Use the directional buttons to change the impact points. Some points will put a spin on the ball. Hold down X to build up shot power. Release X to set shot power. After setting the power, press the X as the cursor is aligned with the ball to deliver the optimal impact. Very nice. Fair way. Hey, you're pretty good. Sure, I'd go that far. The wind's just been blowing. My favorite today, that's all. Golf often, not really, no. Ah, oh, well, practice makes perfect, right? Okay, um... We want to go... Wait, oh, I'm pressing the wrong button, oops. It was L and R. We want to go somewhere this way. Um... Three to ninety yards? 
Yeah, that seems good enough. Oh, damn it. That was quick. You can retry the shot if you like. Take a mulligan? Yes. Uh, my ball's all the way into the wrong direction now, as well. Needs to go this way. Then 930. 20, I mean, it's kind of is having issues. Nice shot. Fairway. No. Um, that's the pitter. Let's go up. This is just down. Need to go a little bit up. Oh, you can see the range. Okay, so we want the 140 triangle for half power. Uh, 120 for half power. And then... Nice shot. Uh, it's still a little bit too far. Rough. No. Nice shot. Green. Oh, that's uh, Peter. See, hundred yards. This thirty. This. Yeah, I think we can. Hmm. Green. Mm -hmm. Green. Par, stroke four. Um, par. Know what any of that shit means? I don't play golf, guys. Oh, Kiryu son, your form is fantastic. <laughs> I don't think so. No need to be modest. You're a natural. Can we head to the next hole? Sounds good. Say, what sort of work do you do, Curious? And I run an orphanage called Morning Glory. Taking care of all those children is quite a task. It's not easy, sure, but nothing makes me happier than seeing them smile. It's wonderful. I'm glad to know you're enjoying your work, Kiryu son, and what vital work it is. Let's get this whole started. Holy shit, that's uh. Okay. Mm -hmm. I do like this system a lot, though. Like, it's very good. Um, can I? What is half of one twenty? So if I do one fifty-five, one twenty-seven. See if we can. Okay. Nice shot. Oh, I forgot that there is wind as well. I need to remember that. No. Um. Twenty-three yards. That's way too far. Hundred and fifty. Then. Nice shot. Ah, still. No. Stroke three is 10 yards. We're just going to go to the pitter. We need to keep an eye out for the wind. So let's see if we... It's coming slightly that way. I don't know if that's... Okay, now that doesn't really matter. Green. No. Oh! Nice. The birdie! Double bogey. Aw. Feel sad. I don't know what any of that means, though. Speaking of the orphanage, curious on how many kids do you have there? Nine. All in elementary school. And you take care of them all by yourself? Do you have any helpers? No, but the oldest girl, Haruka, takes on a lot of that responsibility. She'll be starting sixth grade next month. 
And the chores are divided up between all the kids. Everyone has to help out. How wonderful. Too many kids these days sit around watching TV while their parents do all the work. Now shall we head to the next hole? Fs. As professional security son, what are your thoughts on the youth of today? Well, things are definitely different when I was a kid. But with how drastically the world has changed, I guess there's not much of a surprise. I'd say the real problem is that we spoon-feed everything to kids nowadays. There's no room for imagination anymore. Back in my day, we'd come up with games we could all play together when we were bored. So we had a lot of kids of different ages. We had to make rules that were fair for to everyone. We didn't want to exclude anyone just because of their age or ability. It was through playground games that we first learned how about cooperation and what it means to help others. Stays though, it's about video games and the internet. From what I hear, most kids would rather stay in their rooms than go outside to play. True. We didn't have any of those luxuries when we were young. Children nowadays certainly have it good. But in a way, I feel sorry for them. Bullying seems to have grown more prevalent as well. I will admit it's always been present, but incidents appear to be more malicious recently. Perhaps the children of today lack basic consideration for their fellow students. Looks like it, yeah. Look at this guy just go. He just fucking throws out. Doesn't give a shit. Okay, um... 310 yards. Hmm... 290 is probably... Uh, my best bet here. Here. Start off! Dude, thanks for the resub! I think my credit card pulling the subs automatically. Send help. Also time to explain Kiryu Chan. Oh yeah. Yeah, we haven't seen much we have seen Majma for a bit. But there's character in Yakuza. His name is Majmas uh, Majma Gordo. And he always calls Kiryu Kiryu Chan. And during the first game, you can randomly encounter Majima, and then he'll just yell, you chan and come dashing at you for a fight. So that is kind of the wild explanation behind uh, the Kiryu-chan. But yeah, if you want to see an actual, like, thing about it, because that's probably not going to happen in this game, from as far as I can tell, you should just YouTube the Kiryu-chan. Also, start off, if you don't want automatics uh, to happen, you... Just need to go into your Twitch, and then to your subs, and then cancel subscription. If you don't want it to, like, automatically take it out. That way you'll, will have to do, like, every month, like, put it in and then take it out again. But, uh, yeah. I know it's, I don't, I know you don't have a lot of money to, like, spend on that kind of stuff, so. Uh, that's how you kind of take care of that. How are you doing, bud? Um, I think you'll bankrupt us before the uni if this goes up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I thought that was... Uh, sorry, my dude. I really thought that was common knowledge on uh, how that works. Yikes. That was not a really nice shot, though. Rough. Morgan. Far away. Green. Uh, 17 yards. I'm in the rough, so let's do it like this. And then get the pitter. Uh, I'm not very good at this. At golfing, so don't get... Hmm. Yeah, it's way too far, but we're getting close. It's fine. No. He's on stroke four. Um, oh, is that actually, like, downflow of the hill? Or is that my imagination? I've never played a golfing game, so, like... Hmm. Oh, it is! Oh, that's fucking hilarious. I did not know that. Bank corrupt me. I don't I don't know what that means. Sort of like twenty five days later or something. Yeah, but like 
I do really recommend that you like uh, keep an eye out for that if you don't want to stay subbed for too long, because money is uh, money is a thing. Like for me, money is a thing as well. Question about your children, if you don't mind. How do you spend? How do they spend their free time? Well, we don't have a computer or any games, so for the most part, they all play outside together. The older children really look after the younger ones too. It's like we're one big family. Sounds lovely. But it'd be alright if I paid you a visit sometime, of course. I'd be glad to have you. Oh, I lost. Sucks to me. I'm not very good at golf anyways. I have to thank you for the match, Kiryu son. Golf isn't much without an enjoyable conversation to go with. I hope I'll have the chance to stop by our orphanage sometime soon. And I mean that sincerely. Sincer sincerely? Jesus, my, like... I've, I've went to work out this morning, right? And I've been doing quite a lot of stuff. But my brain is like... Eh -er, eh -er. How are you doing, by the way, uh, today, Sardolf? There's even more way the city could support all the charitable work you do for those children. If you ever need anything, please feel free to give me a call. I'll do everything within my power to help you. Appreciate the back suck, son. See you later. Ah, and before I forget, I signed you up on my permanent guest list. You'll be able to f f uh, you'll be free to visit the club whenever you please. Perhaps we'll even play again sometime. I hope so. Scholarship money will go brrrr. That's my worry. <laughs> oh, do you want to hear something fun? I got my ass kicked by, uh, pen by uh, Pendulum uh, deck today. With uh, my, uh... but I was really playing bad. I was making mistake after mistake. That felt really bad though. <laughs> Ooh, there's side quest. I think right. That's side quest. Uh, I think those are side quests, right? Kizaku Street. What is this T? Oh, that's a cab. C is a coin locker. I haven't found any coins yet. Ooh, there's now more. Cabaret Club, Flawless. The UQ Night Guide. The Yudo Family. Shogi. Karaoke Ken Hatsumaki. My own camp. I do need to go here, actually. Just to uh, go buy some healing items. Which is not a bad thing. What? Why don't you tell me where Takuya is? A man came by and took him. I don't know what to tell you, Kurumi-san. He said he was a friend of yours. He even had me listen to a message he had left on his phone asking to pick up Takuya for you. But I... I did no such thing. My mood is mentally about to snap, but that moment never comes for years. Ooh, that sucks, dude. Let's say we have Takuya. If you want him back, come get him alone and leave the Kamurodo PD out of it. Takya, I can't lose you. I don't know what to do. There's been a kidnapping. Should see if she needs help. Sorry, uh, I couldn't help but over here. Did you say your child has been kidnapped? Sorry, who are you? I'm here to you. I run the Morning Glory. <laughs> morning Glory. Orphanage just down the road. If kids been abducted, well, you can understand my concern. So you're a teacher? All I know is that Takia has been taken from this hospital. And I just got some ransom note. We have Takia. Come alone. It's far too dangerous. Need to alert the authorities. If I can, if I call the police, they will. And they hurt my darling Takia. I'd never be able to live with myself. What or do I do? Please, Kiriyasan, can you help me? You take care of children every day. Surely you understand what I'm going through. Okay, I'm on it. Let's get Takia back. Oh, thank you so much. Is this place? According to the text message, they should be waiting in the vacant parking area I just had. Well, Alright. Jump in. Left the upper end of the strike force. I'm going in. Hey, are you the punk who kept the Takia animal over now? How are you? Kudumi's newest flame? That's just perfect. You're about to get flamed. Street thugs.
These guys are f not bad, honestly. It's kind of annoying because like, you smell like a bucka. Hey, Lizzie. How are you doing, girl? I'm pretty good, other than freaking out about this needle pool. You're supposed to get it today, right? Oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm so sorry. Where's Takia? Yeah, he's better be okay. He'll give me Takia yeah, on the poor whittling baby. Mommy's gonna make it all better. Yeah, four. Damn, Lizzie. Ah, you don't really have to worry. My little brother got it yesterday, and he's completely fine. Don't call him that. He's a very important part of my family. Were you scared, my precious angel? Oh, don't be afraid. Mommy's here. One gave you that run mod, damn it. We're over the moon. Went on and on about how much you loved me still. I have the voicemail on my cell. So the voicemail to trick the vet. All the low down nasty things that you're twisted. Worked, didn't it? Everything I did, I did it for one last chance to see you again. Now that's just creepy. Imagine kidnapping for attention. We'll stunt like this again, and I'm going to please. I can't thank you enough for all your help, Kitty, son. It's not much, but please take this. <laughs> this is the second dose. Ah, you're gonna be fine. What should I do? I won't tell you how to feel, but if you ask me, you really need a better way to express yourself. Just hate needles. You'll be fine, Lizzie. Everything's gonna be alright. Why can I I was about to say why can I not press start? Uh I was gonna go for heat second. What was the archetype of the deck? Uh Zephra. It was a combination of Zephra and uh Metal Fusion, I think. Even though I didn't really get to see much of the Metal Fusion. To be completely honest. Hey, what's wrong? You look like Gavain is about to pop. Oh, well, I... Probably shouldn't be bothering a random stranger with this, but this business has been getting too late. You mean at this cabaret club? That's right, I'm the manager here, and that's a story. Hey, would you mind if I ask you for some advice? Sure, why not? Zephra, Classicos, yeah. It did have a lot of different cards than that, like, in the extra deck than that we would have used. And I got, like, absolutely destroyed by it. I couldn't time my shit perfectly, and I just kept getting ripped to shreds by things that I couldn't really predict. Sure, why not? Thank you. I hate to make you stand in the street, so let's talk inside. Actually, there's a girl named Natsumi who works at the club. She's the number one host on the roster. She's pretty, she brings in a crowd. She's even got a wealthy members of the elite wrapped around her finger. It's unbelievable. That's a good thing, right? Well, sadly, Natsume has started using her status as leverage to influence the club's business decisions. On top of that, she developed a terrible attitude at work and it seems she wants me fired from the club. Why don't you fire her first then? I can't do that. She's responsible for so much of our revenue that losing her would completely be the end of us. Sassy as she is. I just don't understand how a person could start out with such passion and optimist and just turn out so cold and call on the Maybe if I wasn't such a fool of a manager. 
Well, if it isn't our hardworking manager, just what are you plotting over there? Natsume-chan. Hmm, haven't seen you around here before. Well, doesn't matter. I'm off to Hawaii as it is. Hold down the fort for me, okay? Hey, you can't just up and abandon us. This is your job. Not to burst your bubble, but my ride's almost here. Catch you later, daddy-o. Really has no control over her. Hey, wait. I just had the best idea. Why don't you work at our club for a while? It'll be great. You come work for us, bring in some cash for yourself, and coach a fine young lady to knock Natsume off her throne. Hunch that she's the type that only come to her sense once she loses the top position. My leadership hasn't amounted to much, but I'm sure you've got the grit to get the job done, so when can you start? Okay, sure, I'll accept. Well, I don't know if I'll be much help. Listen, kid you, did you forget what we did in Yakuza Kiwami 2 or what? We like brought down the top to their knees. I was planning it. Let me to introduce myself then. I'm Asakaki. And you are? Kid you, kid you, son. I'd like you to recruit a new hostess right away. I'm not going to be coaching the hosts already working for you. I'm afraid all our girls have fallen or not some spell. Only be much you can do be far more effective to start with someone you brought in yourself. I guess that makes sense. So, here are some operating funds. Sorry, it's not much, but it's useful at least a few major expenses. Let's hop right to it then. I'll have one of our staff members bring you up to speed. Uh, how about Koji? know what to do. Hello, I'm Koji, one of the staff members here. It's truly a pleasure to meet you. Likewise, I'm cute to you. I'll be assigning you, uh, assisting you going forward to Kyrie Sun. Now let's recruit a new hostess. Okay, what should we do? Simple. All you need to do is look for charming girls in downtown UQ and approach them. I'm sure at least some of them are qualified to work here. So if you see someone who's a good fit, please bring her to the club. We only have room for one extra staff member, so please make sure you bring someone who generally interests you. I'll be leaving it to you. Well, that's um, so much for the support. I guess that's something, though, like, gotta start somewhere. It's kind of funny, though. Can I walk into this guy? Ow. Ow, it hurts. Hey, watch where you're going, jackass, huh? You go walk commands around Hatsumi and act like you haven't heard of us. You better learn who you're screwing with, asshole. She kind of overreacting. We barely touched each other. Are you alright, Aniki? What's wrong? You broke break a bone or something? M my shoulder, I think I got... Compound a compound fractured pain. Oh the pain. Well would this just got serious. Our Anki's hurt real right. bad. It's uh, all your fault, clumsy ass. What do you gotta say for yourself? <laughs> I don't have time for your little game. Did you got a conch spell? You broke his damn shoulder. Really ought to sue you for the hospital bail, but we ain't no savages. How about you just hand over ten grand? We call it even. Let me think. I'm not paying anything. Sorry, but I'm not giving you a single yen. What are you, stupid? After we were nice enough to give you a chance to settle out of court? Now you're fu uh, fucking with us. We're gonna send you floating down the Kibuchi Ki River. Street thugs. I need to experience points anyways. Did he just fall on top of me to block the throw? That is fucking clever. He did it as well, the fucking asshole. Sorry, must have been confused. We must have been confused. Hey, I think I'm getting hit fixed my shoulder. Really? Did you hear that, mister? You fixed the shoulder. We hope this covers your trouble. 
Be going. <laughs> you got 2,000 experience points. <laughs> the luck. Presentation went great. 10 celebrate Takanaktan. Is that the Sochu mate from Parallel Leaves? I don't care what these guys say. Even though they made a slight connection to the Cabaret Club. Hey, what about her? As far as being a hostess goes, she might be a good fit. Give me a second, let's talk to do the, this dude first. Let's see what these guys sell. Black Umbrella. Don't swing it around, please. Catnip sticks, ground hot pepper, cooking oil, patent hanger, flare fuel. How do you got to Kazaimasta? Pretty average all around. Type that might get flustered if things don't go her way. Yet there's still something intriguing about her. Would she be the one? Hold that thought. She's not bad. Let's just walk around town for a little bit, see if there are any people that might be good fit. Like, I only get one person to, like, uh, try this with, that doesn't work, then we're kind of boned. I don't know how, what, like, the game else has, right, when it comes to that. This is what I love about this game, just doing random fucking side quests like it's nobody's business, or you can night guide. Just no idea how fun I find just random side questing. Yeah, we're gonna go get meds first. And some food. Don't know if I get any experience points for eating food in this game. Welcome! Right this way. Welcome first. What would you like to drink? Can order only one drink. Yeah. Oh, I can only order one food. Oh, that sucks. Okay, that means I need to return often to these places. 80 experience points. Oof. Like to check, please. To clean out all these stores. Oh yeah, wait. That might actually be a temporarily temporary thing as well. By the way, I think about it. That is the Ebisu Palm. <sighs> I do need to enter random places, I think, to find girls. We'll try that out! More stiff up. Stiffed up. Sounds like a weird. Rick Boo's old man. Now you think you're walking around like that? Don't you know you're bothering everyone? Take a nap and sleep off the booze. Did he just? I don't think I like this guy. Just because I drank a little bit. I drank one drink. Legit drank one drink. And you guys be like, how about you just uh? Getting my ass handed here. Okay, I don't I don't like these guys very much. They're kicking my ass. Off the bridge with you bitch! Really need to block more though. I'd actually lose here.
Oh, sorry, yeah, that wasn't... Uh, was all an excuse to attack you. Here, I hope this will make up for it. At least makes up for it a little bit. But I'm very much wounded right now. Get too close to those guys, I feel like they might just decide to fucking murder me. <laughs> right this way. Uh, no, don't order. You can only order one item, I don't know why. How much HP did I get back from that? Decent enough. Oh, sorry, lady. What is over here? What are you, Yuku Shoku? Shogi. Let's see if there's anything interesting here. Pick up. Doesn't really look like it. not playing shogi I should probably go to that drugstore first honestly I think we're just gonna go if I keep getting attacked out of random like that I'll be uh, pretty dead Someone with a quest there. Another M store. Let's see if there's anyone in here. Nope. What's this? It's a smile burger. Hey, what about her? As far as being a hostess goes, she might go for a good fit. Look, appears to be good conf uh, conversationalist, and she's also pretty smart. But I don't think she's all that motivated as a person. Should I give her a chance? Nope. Don't think she's pretty. She's not that attractive either. Lookers. Okay, it's not something that I can do anything with yet, apparently. <laughs> Kitty, you run off the booze, boy. Okay. Didn't I need to go down here? Oh no. I'm not very good at, like, this map yet. This is a completely new map. Stone market, public market. Who's this? Hey, what about her? As far as being a hostess goes, she might be a good fit. Let's see. Takes care of herself fairly well, and in a sense, and I sense that she's really smart. Doubt she's faced by stressful day job either. Should I ask her to join? Okay, so far she looks. Pretty much the best of the three candidates that I've picked up so far. Talk to that guy later. First need to go grab the things that I need to do, because otherwise I'm just gonna... ...fail and die. You wanna help me blow off some steam? I haven't been having the best day, you see. Huh. Not like you have a choice. Prepare to die, bitch! Is what I was talking about, just random people just attacking me for no good reason. Oh. 
stomp in the face. Now Bao Dai just smack you a few times with a crowbar. Jamada! Oh yeah, that's enough. I'm feeling better now. Just take this and let me off the hook, man. So funny with these guys sometimes. Um, wondering what I should upgrade next. Body. Maximum health gauge. I think I'm gonna get body and soul up one more time, and I'm gonna put a shit ton of points into attack because we need better skills. Welcome. Have you decided on what you would like to order? Don't order. Sorry. That's a mistake. I made a mistake. North public market. Where's my map? UK bud. In some guy off the street, you get some real fiery eyes. Real player, aren't you? Well, I got a great place I'd like to show you. Follow. Sure. It's away. You won't regret it. Oh, what is this place? Gambling hall! It's a gambling hall. The perfect place to cut loose and have some fun. Silo, Ochikaku. Oh yeah, I uh, feel like that's going to be great, but not for now. After I get more money. Money, money, money. <laughs> sure, I'll tell her about Tokyo. Grab a bar few drinks. I'm Kaida Anya. Come Kaida. I'm here to you. used to live in Kamarucho. If you've heard of it, it's one of the seedier parts of Tokyo. Nope, definitely don't know it. So jealous though. Closest thing I've ever gotten was a field trip to Kyoto. I mean, there was so much love about Tokyo, right? All we've got here in Okinawa is fish and salty air. <laughs> don't know, I think Okinawa has its charms. But it's nothing compared to Tokyo. Oh gee, sure wish I could live up there. But I guess just hearing about it, it's a good start. No, sure, I don't know. If I'm gonna move there, it would, I would have to find a place to live, right? How much rent? It's a studio, like a photograph studio or something. <laughs> it just means one room apartment. You don't really need much more than that if you're living alone, trust me. One room? But you can get a whole house down here for that price. Jeez, people in Tokyo are spending their entire income on rent only. Not everyone, but I suppose some do, yeah. Anyway, next question. If I do end up living in Tokyo, should I bring my car with me? Everyone always drives around the city. TV and stuff. I've never been able uh, to shop without a car anyway. Plus. What would I even get around? I drove into town today. Troll. <sighs> Ditch the car and take the train. Uh... Not on the train just to buy some fish. There's more than just trains, by the way. We also have subways, taxis, buses, anything you could need. Besides, there are stores everywhere, so... Half the time you will need to get on a train at all. I mean, I guess, but it's so hard to imagine life without a car. Kaida's friend. There you are, Kaida. I knew I'd find you here. Oh, Mojimi-chan. You sure do know me well. It's not hard to guess when you always go to the same bar. So who's this? It's Kiryu son He's from Tokyo. We are just chatting. About moving? I'm sorry about my friend here. Sir, she's so starstruck by the big city. You trying to tell her that she won't last a, uh, a minute up Tokyo, but she refused to listen. That's not true. I can do it if I try, you know. 
Please, Kiryu-san, you know Tokyo best. Tell her why it would be such a bad idea. Your friends, right, Kaede? It won't be easy, see? Still, I won't know unless I try beside this. If I really want to, I'd give it a shot. Hmm. It might be tough, but if you're really that dead set on going, there's no point in stopping you. But I know you're worried. But if Kaede never gets the chance to do what she wants, she might end up resenting you for it. I'll manage, don't worry. And if I need help, I'll just give Kiryu a call. <laughs> what? Is that okay? Well, I did tell you to go. It's my number. Give me a ring if you need the hand. Well, thank you. Please take it. Very sad. Okay, we're gonna go now. It's like Kaede will end up in Tokyo before too long. Cute. It's just a random quest all of a sudden. Can upgrade something. Let's upgrade something. Level up. Help gauge increased. Darts explanation. Darts. Hey, what about her? As far as being a hostess goes, she might be a good fit. I'm like a talker, and I doubt she knows. All that much about the world, but I can tell she's very diligent. Maybe I should approach her. Second thought, maybe not. Okay, so that's number four. Uh, number three of all the people that we saw so far is still probably back. Are we all the way back here again? The game just makes me run and run from point A to point B. Uh, where where did my map go? Oh, here. I just ran over, punched some guy. Oh wait, this is where we came out of. Never mind. Uh, we'll come back. Uh, aqua, whatever. This is the um, cabaret club. gonna bother with that just yet sounds like annoying yeah hey, I said stop you think it's okay to ignore me actually I do think it's okay to ignore you <laughs> fucking gushy On the car. Yakuza 3 is so much more bloodier than Zero, Kiwami 1 and Kiwami 2. Okay, uh, we went in there, we know that there's a person over there. What's in here? This is the Cabaret Club Flawless. I doubt that's a good idea to go look for. Ara, ara. Ara, ara. Competition, this is the Karaoke Ken. I ended up, still didn't end up getting to the freaking medication shop. It's like... <sighs> so I... Who the fuck is this guy? Sachin plays lovely. Sashini. No! Dick grunts at the Yakuza. Hey, you know whose turf this is? Not cause otherwise you'd be paying your respect to as Yakuza. Listen, mate. You're not wearing a nice ass shirt underneath your suit. Means you are probably garbage here, Yakuza. 
Your your buddy here even wears a better suit than you do. Damn, you're too strong. I'll let you off the hook this time. Count yourself lucky. Diplomatic 10k. Need to heal up again. Oh yeah, nearly done watching the f the finally the finale of Resero season two. Ah uh, yeah, I li really liked uh, Resero season two. Oh, fine. We'll get drunk. Arigato gozaimashita. I'm not that drunk. What is this stone market? Oh, no girls in here. Oh, okay. Not sure what I should be doing here. How do you get to Okazoi Mashta? I've already started watching a new anime again. Oh, sorry. Ah, hey, hey, my day's drugs. Drinker of Ryuku. Hangover cure. Sure, let's get rid of that who's feeling. Give me some of these, by the way. Check out. Hi, I did get off. Often hit or miss. Well, yeah, that that's true, especially if you're looking for like specific things. I usually don't have that that much, like, unless it's really cringy, a really cringy anime, I should say. But I can enjoy any kind of anime without too much effort, honestly. As long as I, like, don't really give much of a fuck, have fun with it. Yeah, cringy, like, I don't know how to explain cringy anime. But there's like, sometimes there's just... Eh. Yeah, I really don't know how to put it. You can buy fish. Like, that anime with the depressed girl that tries to be popular. Depressed girl that tries to be popular. What is the name? Do you know what the name of that anime is? Hey, what about her? Okay, she... Don't know much about this one. Let me see what she says. Clever enough for the job. Very friendly, too, and she's also quite motivated. But I feel like she gets stressed out pretty quickly. No. No, no. Not her. No matter how I look at it, it's you guys... It's you guys your fault I'm not popular. Yeah, that sounds like a very cringy one, honestly. Like, and not funny either, and it's, like, yeah, but if it makes you feel uncomfortable, that is when I, like, what I mean with cringy indeed. Because I do, like, I watch a lot of animes, and I find a lot of animes that are just fun and great, right? And not particularly, like, what do you call that? Special or anything? Like most of the seasonal animes, for example? But once there are like there, are, every so now and then I watch an or pick up an anime that just makes me feel uncomfortable. Interspecies reviewers, that one was great. I can't I can't lie about that. 
I love interspecies reviewers. Interspe you, you just don't need to, uh, you just, if you take interspecies reviewers, you might get a turn off from it, but uh, if you like, just watch it and have fun and, and create anime. <clears throat> uh, here's that casino, most likely. Like send the salamander girls. Yeah, you just need to have a fucking affinity for fire. Fire resistance. Yep. Yeah, no, I could enjoy. I I enjoyed that one as well. That was great. Willow wisp. So there was this. Uh, <laughs> this is this is technically kind of a cringe-worthy anime as well. I don't remember what it's called, by the way. But uh, it was not as cringe-worthy that it makes you just feel completely uncomfortable. It's just a stupid one. But uh, the anime is about that uh, about a girl that wants to lose her virginity and sleep with a hundred other guys, different guys, right? And that's, that's she's still a virgin, and I like okay. It's kind of cringe worthy anime. I don't think I don't remember whether or not I finished it. We are talking about an anime, right? Yeah, no, the, she doesn't actually sleep with anyone. She's literally just like trying to hook up with guys, but she keeps failing. <laughs> it's like, I really, it's just a really stupid one. But yeah, that was an anime indeed. I don't remember the name of that anime. That, ha that has that lore, but got stuck on the first one. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nah. Give me a sec. I'm actually I'm actually gonna look it up. I need I need to I need to remember what the name is. Uh yeah, I need to remember the name of that anime. Ban bot alert and no mods in the chat. Um to sleep. With a hundred guys. <laughs> I did get, I did instantly get in Yamada's first time. Kek alert. Big Gata HK. Yeah, I think that's the one. Begata HK. B. Gata. <clears throat> Is a four panel manga series by Yoko Sunri. It was published by Shuhei Sha and ran a weekly show and jump from 2004 to 2011. That's a pretty long time, actually. Damn. Have I been watching anime from this long already? The story focuses on a. Salacious wishes of a high school girl who's uh, who uh, who perceives drawback this drawback of being a virgin leads to her losing after and pursuing rather average and earn <laughs> and unremarkable boy in her class. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Yeah. Ah, the good times. The good times. Actually, pretty good. A lot of Okiwana folk songs have themes of love, like the, this next tune about a young man pinning for a woman. It's called The Moon's Beauty. If you have some time to spare, why not stay in a while? This is not a bad idea. And now, without further ado, The Moon's huh? Beauty. What the hell do you think you're doing? Who gave you permission to pollute the airways with that whaling? 
Uh, Rook. You there, Scran. Nothing left to see or get moving. And you, how many times do we gotta tell you to quit that howling? I can perform whenever I want. I don't get to decide where I can and you don't get to decide where uh, where I can and can't sing. We'll see who decides what once I wire your trap shut. We've had it up to here with you and your stupid old time ditties. Hey, what are you doing? Please, not my grandma Sashin. You're going to break it. Is it that important to you? Don't worry then. We'll make a real smash hit out of it. Freaking many animes. Yeah, me too. And who the hell are you? Mind your own business, Pops. You wanna stand up for this asswipe? Then it's your turn to face the music. Music makes you lose control. Smashed into the pole. Yeah, me too. I've watched so many anime. I probably, like, the list I'm keeping right now probably miss, like, quite a few of the animes that I've watched in total as well. At some point, I decide to write down every single anime that I've watched. And like uh, on the underneath the watch list, to watch list, so much I really owe you for stepping in like that. Don't mention it. Listening to that nice song of yours was all the thanks I needed. Oh, you mean the Rose Balsam? I learned that song from my grandma when she first taught me how to play the sashini. Sashin, I don't know how to pronounce that. With your parents' counsel. As your compass, with virtue as your shield, you can face this world with a will. A strong steel. My grandfather's grandmother's life lessons are right there in the lyrics. I bet that's why it's the first one she had me learn how to play. It's a beautiful song. Classic anime movies from Studio Ghibli. I need to watch a lot of classic anime movies. But I don't like watching movies as much as the anime because animes only last like 20 minutes and movies last like one and a half and I just don't have the patience for movies. And it's even more important to me nowadays. My grandmother, she passed away last year. She once told me that music is all I have, so the kindness of strangers is all I can rely on to make my way in the world. I sing that song in her memory so that I never forget the lessons she taught me. Sounds like she'd be proud of you. Hang in there, alright? I'll do my best. Thanks again for your help. Oh, and here, please take this. It's an Okinawan delicacy. Like a donut. Thanks to you, I can keep singing here, sharing my grandmother's song with everyone. Keep it up. I'll be cheering for you. Lucky. Germany. Germany. Netherlands didn't have any Ghibli movies on television, which feels kind of bad. Okay, I think I figured out which girl we're gonna be using. Well, using, asking to uh, join. Stop giving me the run around, man. You're in the wrong here for owing all this money, and now you're gonna pay. Please, not my awamori. It's the only thing keeping my family going. Fine, then I'll take the land you're sitting on instead. Bring out the deed now. What? But my ancestors established this distillery generations ago. Can't just hand it over like that. Indeed, huh? Maybe this has something to do with that resort development plan. What's going on there? You mentioned the land deed. Please help me. This guy is after my Ava uh, Morty. I don't know who you are or where you came from, but you'd better stay out of our business. If this has some has got to do with the, the resort development, I'm afraid it's my business too. I've taken somewhat of an interest in that issue. Talking about any resort. This chump owns me a fat stack of cash. I was just telling him that he can't... That if he can't pay up, then he can make good on his deed by giving me the deed of his land. So that's what this is about. Oh, it's going nowhere. I'll let you off the hook today. Either pay up in full or bring me the deed. Your choice. 
I'm super RTL. Like my neighbor Totoro. Chihiros. So much saved me from the view. Really, it sounds like you're going to have to pay off the debt. Yep, of course. I did borrow all the money after all. I didn't have a choice. If I hadn't taken out that loan, the distillery would have gone belly up. You're in a distillery? That's right. It's a bar nearby where we make our own local spirits, Awamori. If you've never heard of it, uh, my name is Matsu Matsushima. Remember a movie I need to rewatch? Meaning in Kiryu san. A few years back, I borrowed 20 mil to try and expand my business, compete with the other big distilleries in town, you know? And I take the investment didn't pay off. Actually, it was a resounding success, but we age our Awamori for years to create the perfect flavor. Turns out the deadline to pay back those loans came around while this most recent batch is still aging. When's the deadline? It's actually not for another year still, but now they're saying that if I don't pay back the 20, full 20 mil in a week, I'm gonna have to hand over distillery. That's absurd. Don't you have a contract? About that, I looked over the fine print and it did say the lender has the right to demand repayment before the deadline. That's how they get you. Still only one week, eh? Must really be in a hurry. If only I had another year, I could pay it back for sure. What do you mean? Oh, that's when the Almori will be ready for market. I'll be able to pay off my debt, no question asked. I tried to explain to the loan shark, but he kept insisting I pay them right now. If uh, I could find the Ireland grandpa told me about. What's this about an Ireland? Oh, just something my grandpa mentioned in his on his deathbed. He said if I was ever in trouble, I could sell our extremely valuable family heirloom for extra cash. But I don't have the slightest idea where it is, or if it even exists for that matter. I've heard that story before. The heirlooms don't end up being the windfalls people expect them to be. Why don't you talk to the loan shark again? Try to explain the current situation. That might be better than putting all your eggs in the heirlooms basket. He already knows my situation. That's why he's demanding I pay now. Can't remember the name, that sucks. He just wants to steal the distillery from me and stock of Awamori we have aging. I'll net him way more than just 20 million I own. That must have been his goal from the beginning then. Set up the contract, then go back on it and take not just the distillery but the booze too. The island remains the only hope. Apparently it's buried somewhere on the beach near some orphanage. Evening Pride? I think it's called, something like that. But you mean Morning Glory? Oh yeah, that's the one. You know it? Know it? I run the place. Never guessed there'd be buried treasure nearby them. What luck! Fate must have brought us together! Please, would you consider helping me find this precious heirloom? I'll make it worth your time, I promise. Save your distillery. Titan IA. Uh, I'm already an essential part of Okinawa's culture, so I, I won't just stand by while you get threatened. Let's go find that heirloom. Thank you so much. I can't believe you really to help a stranger like me. You're too kind. Thank me once we found the thing. So, do you have any other clues to find them? I do, actually. Our heirloom has a special song that tells us where the heirloom is hidden. The sound of crashing waves upon the sand so hot, a golden foam flows over the sacred turtle spot. The sound of crashing waves must mean near the ocean. Makes sense. That would be the beach in front of the morning glory. Yeah, that's definitely the place my grandpa mentioned to me. Problem is, the sound, second line, the golden foam flows over the sacred turtle spot. I think golden and turtle must be big hints, but I've got no clue what that means, me neither. For now, I guess let's take a look near uh, Morning Glory. So Dad, would you mind waiting here for a moment before we head out? Why? Need to check on some of the uh, morning and distillery to make sure it's all aging properly. And you're in the middle of this situation? You sure are passionate about your work? Remember watching it when I was six while visiting my relatives? Such a great movie. Nice. I'll make the best business decisions, but I'm damned good at making fine alcohol. In that case, stay here. Keep an eye on your stock. I'll go look for the treasure on my own. Thanks. For being so understanding. If you find anything, please just call my cell. My number is 555-2926674. That's 555-AVAMORI. If you couldn't tell. No, I couldn't actually. Right. I'll let you know when I find it. Okay, uh, let's go uh, actually uh, get that lady. I think our best bet is the girl over there. I 
Oh, there's another quest here. She's still here. I think she's our best bet. This was the third one, right? Takes good care of herself, so since she's really smart, I doubt she'd be faced stressful day at the job either. Should I ask her to join? Approach her. Okay, let's see what I can come up. Sorry to interrupt whatever you're doing, but... Hmm? Oh, are you talking to me? Oh, yes. You see, I was minding my own business when all of a sudden I found myself drawn to your overwhelming beauty. <laughs> you really mean that? Of course I do. Now, I'm sure you get this all the time, but have you ever been interesting as working as a hosted? No, actually. You're the first one who asked. And yeah, I guess I'd be open to it. All right. Would you mind coming by our club? I'd be more than happy to explain the details. Okay, then. I'm Kyrie, 22 years old, and looking to broaden my horizons. It's really nice to meet you. Likewise, let me show you the way. Show me the way to your club. We specialize in helping our hosts reach the top of the industry, but first we need to decide on a stage name for you. That would fit the persona you want to project. Let's just keep it as it is. For now, from now on, we use that while working at the club. Look forward to being your number one girl. Where do we start first? Let's get you changed into an outfit worthy of your grace and charm. See, as soon as you walk out that door, you'll be reborn head-turning queen of the night. Casual wear. Description. A beautiful standard one-piece, revealing but classic. Standard dress with a 60 trim. Days link to the max. This one fits her very well. I miss the heyday of movies. There's just coming out so much trash out of Hollywood. I agree. I feel like I like that's a thing. Is that the new girl? Yeah, and you are. Um, I uh, and you must be the new guy. I guess that makes you me your senpai. I suppose I should teach you tricks of the trade. To help you this job go smoothly, otherwise I wouldn't be much of senpai now, would I? Now when it comes to doing well as a hostess, customer satisfaction is everything, right? That's why it's important to get a grasp on the customer's preference and do your best to satisfy them. You should be able to get an idea of what the guests want when you walk the floor. Anyway, just get out there and see what you can learn. Use your eyes and ears. A way she can better satisfy the customers, yep. Am I being a little much? Either way, do your best and don't get stressed, both of you guys. It's the occasional good movie that splits out, but that's it. That's personally why I like just funny movies, mostly, when it comes to my movie taste. Because that's just... It's just fun. It's silly. Get a feel for your customer's preference by walking around the club, then return to the break room and coordinate your hostess to the ideal image. Time to hit the floor. Uh, good boys, right? That's that uh, series about that guy that wants to kill superheroes or something? Something like that, where the superheroes are superheroes but not necessarily nice people. Gorgeous girls. Seen a nice gorgeous girl to come sit on my lap. Any gorgeous girls around? Gorgeous girls, gorgeous, gorgeous. The boys, that's scary, but that's also nice. Yeah, I don't have like a uh, prime, so. Kitty does seem to be having any customers. Gorgeous. Okay, uh, dress up. Uh, looks, charisma. Select outfit. Standard, sexy, classic. Oh wait, gorgeous. But that... Hairstyle? 
casual and clean short medium old style so uh, nothing classier than dignified look modern elegant loose curls express your freedom with this style i think this is nice gorgeous damn uh, I think this is fine. Good boys about three kids behaving like teenagers would doing and thinking stupid stuff. Makes sense. Inexpensive but showy. Cutest girl in town. Necklace. Gorgeous. Ring. Oh, these things are fucking expensive. Watch. Finish. Okay, gorgeous is going up. Refined, flashy, cute. That's fine. Check stats. Okay, so gorgeous did go up, so that should be nice. Time to. What can I. Like, what. Gorgeous. Is this not good enough? They all want to hang out with gorgeous girls, but... About procedure. The way our club works is fairly straightforward. You go out on the floor, pick up then on customers' via pins, and use the information disperse with the lady of the evening. Three times, and that's considered a service round, then you'll get your results, and on to the next one. Remember, our revenue depending entirely on how our guests perceive their time. Oh, it's, uh, it's the weirdest to me, tell me. To work in concerts with our staff to satisfy them. Makes sense. Inspection. Multiple preference, so it's important to decide which preference to prioritize. About coordination. If you watch a translated film and the character starts speaking your language, ah, yeah, can have the girl coordinate their clothes, makeup, accessories, and other things to give. Of course, the items and makeup that have already been provided by the club are free to use. Anything else, you need to pay up front. And again, this should be obvious. Any expense. Expenses we incur will be deducted from our total revenue rate. So now clothes and accessories can be swapped out over and over again. Please be aware you will have to pay each time a host gets her hair and nails done. Beauty's not cheap. Mixing and matching certain clothes and cosmetics can lead to surprising results. I guess you'd call them bonus effects. Anyways, combination you can. I'm fine for now. Okay, so I have not a fucking clue. Um. Yakuza 3 Hostess Guide Quick and Dirty, dirty Strategy I hate that this phone like freaks out on Chrome. Lecture, free time, relax. 
Four styles, forges, trick elegant and poise. In short putting a certain dress gives you baseline amount for each look and each other element is numbered based on the dress. For example, if you wore a sexy dress and a curly uh, updo, the hair would have a different effect than if you wore a gorgeous dress and curly updo. Okay, it's system that if, you tr if you're truly interested, I suggest looking up Japanese wiki guides for bottom, bottom line. Given above is more than sufficient for all four styles. Okay. Considering it made by Google and its OS, I switched to Brave on my phone. <laughs> yeah, it kind of makes sense. Gorgeous girl. Need to see what else we can get. Dress up. Okay. Um, hair. Loose curls or curly updo? I think I put loose curls, right? I don't know where the curly updo is. Outfit selection is fine. Makeup. Uh, eyebrows. Is row two. One. Row two. What is a row? Columns is this. This is a row, right? This one. Hairstyle, loose up curls. This. Makeup. Eyelashes, one top left. Top left, this one. No. Uh, eyeliner one row one column three. Okay, so these are the columns and this these are the rows. Uh, one column three. Brown. I'm not good with words guys, I'm sorry. Eyeshadow on Row six, volume one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Glitter eyeshadow off, contacts off, blush on. On says row two, volume one. Glitter blush off. Lipstick, one, row one, column two. Row one, column two. Blush. Uh, okay. That, ah, sorry, so much cash I've spent. Quite a lot. Uh, earrings, earrings, petite type. Um. Gorgeous nails, fine. Necklace is simple or white, generally. None or frameless. Simple. Don't have any hair accessories. Nails is fine. Ring. Heart ring. Fucking expensive. Watch, simple watch. It's fine. Finish. I don't have enough for the ring yet. Ejenai! Holy shite! Check stats. Ah, this must work, right?
Okay, good job, Kirie. Kirie! Okay, I think this is fine. This game is so random. That's that's the entire point. Like, I can go full straight ahead through the main story. But, uh... I don't want to. I'd like doing the side quests as well. Good work, and you'll be number one in no time. Thanks for your support. Of course, we always gotta stick together, you know? Kiryu-san, Kiryu's rank went up. I can tell you're... Uh, you've both been putting a lot into it. Keep up the excellent work. Great work today. Let's aim for the next milestone. Nice. Total sales. Kiria's individual sales. Total profit 11. Remaining balance. Okay. Need to up that. A real host of skills, keeping her customers entertained to manage that, and she needs to train up th three skills and manage uh, two meters motivation. So the idea of training is to get the skills in green to maximum S rank, keep motivation high and stress low. Select training, you'll initially have four options. Looks 101. I'll uh, boost looks while raising stress. Okay. Yeah, but that's just what I like about the Yakuza series, all in all. Motivation went up, nice. You'll get three new options to list lecture. Okay, that was the first phase. We're not going to continue that for a while, I guess. I hate when people beg for money and try to directly ask people on the street. <laughs> Especially when I work for it. Yeah. I kind of hate that as well. Especially when I just know that once I uh, give them something, they're just probably going to the closest drugstore and like get some weed or whatever. Did you, by the way, Hiko, did you actually know that people in the Netherlands have, like, gets a income or, like, a, an uitkering, I don't know what that is, uh, in English, from the government for being homeless? Let's meet a turtle rock after school tomorrow. Okay, going to play. This is just fucking weird, right? Alaska-san. Good to see you again, Kiryu-san. I told you I'd stop by, didn't I? Yeah, I thought I wasn't expecting to be so soon. Huh? Once an idea crossed my mind, I simply have to see it through as soon as possible. Daichi in the house! Yo, Uncle Kaz! And also fuck people over. Yeah, that, that... Not here. There are way too many people that, like, take advantage of it, and then they try to get it straight, and then fuck the wrong people over. Say hello to our guest. Take your shoes off before you go inside. Hi, Uncle Kaz. Home. Do you had a good day at school? Mm-hmm. Oh, guest. 
Hi, mister. Hello there, kids. Come on, Izumi-chan. Such energetic kids, yeah. Tadaima. Wow. さあ、元気な子供ですな。あれ、お客さん? ミロ、喧嘩だよ、あざだらけだ。どうしてくれるんだ。ああ、橋本さん。お久しぶりですね。ん? <laughs> what are you doing here? Truthfully, I've been wanting to pay this orphanage a visit for some time now. So, of course, I didn't waste any time when Kiryu here invited me. I need to see the children he clearly loves so much for myself. They're certainly growing to fine young adults. Is it the environment or perhaps Kiryu son's guiding at hand? What's your secret, honestly? I can't take much credit. They're all really independent. I only step in when absolutely necessary. I see. You should take a page out of his book, Hashimoto. Sir, I agree. What about Shiro? He thinks he's better than all of us regular kids because he doesn't have parents. Don't speak to him like that, young man. He didn't choose to be an orphan. None of these kids did. If you're really his friend, you would help him solve his problems, not make them worse. Whatever, you won't fart. To exploit system that then adapt to fuck everyone over our assholes. Yep. Very much so, Hiko. Well, I never. I feel sorry for that boy's parents. Sure, being his teacher is hard enough, Hashimoto-sensei. Well, I should be going. I must say, Kiryu-san, it warms my heart to see how uh, happy and healthy your children are. You have the full support of the city, I assure you. Hi, Uncle Kaz! Hey, Arika, how was school? Good. Are the other others back already? Yeah, they got home a while ago. Shiro too? I hope he's okay. Don't worry, Arika. Shiro's going to be just fine. Really? That's a relief. So worried when I heard he was getting bullied, but I'm glad everything's gonna be okay. Well, I better get dinner started. Be careful with the knives. Time to get dinner right No. 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 What is over here? We are doing side crystal. Okay, this just brings me back here. Good to know. Uh, Morning Glory Station. Morning Glory is kind of a weird name. Just saying. Let's talk about building a resort. What's so great about Okinawa? A friend of mine once went mainland. He says that the ocean there is really dirty. Nothing like the sparkling blue of our beaches, really. Don't people go swimming during the summer? That's because they don't know any better. Nobody who's ever been to Okinawa could stand to swim in that sludge. Guess that's why everyone's on vacation here. Okinawa! Okinawa. Take it. Old magazine. Anything I can do with that old magazine? Maybe that's just a naive way of thinking. I mean, maybe. Maybe it's not. Like, it all kind of depends, right?
for Turtle Near Morning Glory. I mean, that's not a bad idea, as long as you don't go and try, like, to sympathize for too many people. Because in the end, it really doesn't matter. Sometimes, uh, when it comes uh, to things, the seven deadly sins are just human. You shouldn't bother too much with it. Like healthy gamer GG. Even if you want... Take the worm. Take the worm! Broke. We don't want to move at our age. I can't live in some big apartment building where you don't know your own neighbors. Did you hear about Kumisan? He greets Son's house. He said he's taking this opportunity to move in with his son's family. Guess they have a place on the mainland, really? It's going to be lonely around here without him. If I'm good or not. Like rethinking actions. Hiko, uh, yeah, about that, I really shouldn't, like, don't bother with that. Really, really, really don't bother with that. That's a waste of time. And human, humans can't, if, like, unless you are a fucking billionaire, right? Are extremely good at fighting people and whatever, you can never always be good as portrayed in I don't even mean in real life uh like that I see uh. Plopping more base down is essentially saying we've prepared for war, and when the war inevitably comes, we'll be trapped in a combat zone with no escape in sight. To mention all this, I rage to talk about erecting some fancy schmancy resorts, as if that will finally make Okinawa prosper. If you ask me, they're trying to tear down everything we've worked for since the Second World War, all for this little pocket change. And give. I don't think in giving or not giving money is good or bad. I mean, like other things. Now, yeah, I, I I think I can kind I kind of understand what you mean, right? I like I've had a very very long time of like thinking that it was important to be a good person, but you just like can barely be a good person. Uh. in this day and age without fucking yourself over so much. I saw another guy struggle in a quest in a while and I was willing to let him die. Would have needed to run back to his corpse for two or so minutes so I could save him. So I could save time. Till friends stepped in to help him. 
I mean, that's like, it's World of Warcraft. I really couldn't care less if I should help someone or not in that case. Like, people... I barely meet people that actually help others unless asked. That's definitely true. Congratulations! I caught a puffer fish. I do help people I see in there if I'm bored and I want to be good and make a nice memory. We'll forget it in the next hour or so. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's catch one more fish. I have another worm. That's definitely true. Got a shellfish. Stop fishing. I actually rarely forget people that actually help me. Also thought about how one can miss stupid things just by not speaking them out loud. Ha! <laughs> Give it back. I will, just not yet. Sorry, Taichi. Sounds like Taichi and Ayako are up in arms about something. I don't have it right now. Can you wait until I get my allowance? It's not till next week. And the new Ninja Rangers manga comes out today. All the kids at school are gonna read it before me. Sorry, Taichi. Whatever. You're pay me back soon, liar face. Talk to her in a moment. I need to stash up garbage. Like, I heard the story about a guy trying to hook up. And after like 10 minutes, he asked her out. I was having talked to her before. Okay. And got rejected. Oh, <laughs> poor guy. No. Yeah, that sounds very possible.
How much rice should I make? A lot. I mean, it's good to be prepared, though. Why didn't you pay Taichi back, Ayaka? Did you lose the money or accidentally spent it? Um, come on, this isn't like you. From someone, you have to make sure to give it back, but I... Uh, you can tell me. Someone stole it. What? The other kids? Are you sure? Maybe you just fell out of your pocket? No. I keep all my money in my wallet inside my bag. Lid would have known it was there. Right. I'm gonna go get the bottom. No, Aiko. You have to find out what happened, but... Round up the others. Wait for me in the dining room. Okay. You also have that you sometimes have the biggest asshole in your head. Yeah, but I tend to think that I'm an asshole all the time. Whether that is the actual case or not. Gonna have to wait, huh? Why? Ayaka's money has gone missing. You think someone stole it? Sounds like it. One day it was in her wallet, and the next it's gone. Oh, that's awful. Gonna meet up in the dining room. Weren't you there too? All right. Hey, can you two go to the dining hall for me? What's wrong on Cass? Nothing really, we just need to have a family discussion about something. Okay, something happened. I'll tell you later. See you girls in the dining room. <laughs> Daichi, on Cass, you gotta help. I gave Ayako some money, but she's not giving it back. I know. For you two are arguing earlier. But why won't she do something? I am. Go in the dining room. All of us are gonna have to talk about what's going on here. What do you mean? It's like someone stole the money from Ayako. Yeah. Like someone here? Not sure yet. That's why I want to have this meeting. Just wait for me in the dining room, okay? Yeah, okay. Dining room! Oh, gee. Oh, cats, what's up? Can you three go wait for me in the dining room? Isn't it early for dinner? We're gonna have a house meeting. Why? What happened? You'll know soon enough. Just wait for me. Alright, come on. Still haven't found that item for the distillery guy. But I have, for some reason, I kind of have a feeling that it's not going to happen during this, uh... Session. This chapter. Get on over to the dining room, Echo. Okay. She's walking really weird. No. Sit down. Oh, I'm missing one kid. Nandi. Kind of been everywhere. Uh, after talking to uh, whatever her name was, thing area kind of changed. So I need to look around a little bit more. Did your history class at school have a focus on Dutch history? No. Just general history. 
all the history. Kid, am I missing? Nope. Not a clue. Are you gonna tell me, Hiko? Teach me history. It's because of the agriculture that's formed because of the dikes. They were perfect for growing tulips and grass. Uh huh. Huh? Riona. Oh, didn't notice her. There's something we need to talk about. Wait for me in the dining room, okay? Okie dokie. It's everyone. Time to find out what happened. Milk which got turned into cheese for better storage. And that cheese got called Gouda. Nice. Pretty much all we know. He was really worried, and rightfully so. The money got taken right out of her wallet after all. Now, I don't like doing this any more than you do, but if one of you stole the money, I need to speak up. She first noticed it was gone. I think it was two days ago. Then did any of you notice anything weird going on? Were there any strangers hanging around or anything? Mm. I think I saw something. Riona was digging around in Ayaka's bag. Riona? Aka-chan said I could borrow her paint, so I was getting it out of her bag. You don't think I stole the money, do you, Uncle Cass? Of course not. Uh, I think about it, didn't Mitsuo just buy a new model set? It's a pretty fancy one, too. Kind of suspicious timing, don't you think? Oh, well, Mitsuo? She gets money for something like that. Uh, I saved up for weeks. That's how I didn't do anything wrong, Uncle Cass. I didn't stop buying snacks so I could save it up quicker. Besides, don't they say the first guy to speak up is usually the one who did it? You heard me. Stop it, you two. What do we do? Alright. Somebody stole the money, right? Yeah, he's right. Look, we're not gonna keep sitting here flinging accusations at each other. That's not what being family is about. But I'll say it again. If one of you did take the money, you can come talk to me whenever you want. I won't tell the others. Maybe left out a thing or two, but that's the gist of it. Or why the Netherlands have so many windmills. Don't know that either. But to be fair, I don't really care. So as much as I hate to admit it, one of the kids must have stolen it. I guess the only option now is looking through their things. Oh, how creative we Dutch people are. What are you doing in here, eh? Um, nothing. Echo's back, right? You know you can dig around in there without her permission. Come on, just tell me what you were doing. You don't want to say it. You're wrong.
like how 90% of your identity is just because you fought the war against the Zay. Huh? Cass, what's wrong with Eri? Found her looking through your bag, huh? Something else missing? No, uh actually the money money is back in my wallet, what? Eddie Chuan, where are you? Wait, Hiko, you don't mean that our identity is uh, that we are the smallest country in the world? Oh wait, no, actually, I think Belgium is smaller, right? The Netherlands, and Luxembourg. Sorry, Uncle Cass, I'm really, really sorry. You. I promised my friends I'd go to the movies with them, but I didn't have any money. I do promise, I never get to do stuff with them. They have real parents, so they get way more allowance than I do, and you have nine of us to take care of, so I can't ask for more. My friends know I can't afford a lot, so they never ask me to do stuff with them. So when they asked me to go to the movies, I was really happy. I couldn't say no to that, so I just took the money. I was gonna give it back next time I got my allowance, I swear, but I'm sorry, Uncle Cass. I'm glad you were planning to pay her back. You can't borrow something that's not yours without asking first. That's stealing. The Vatican is the smallest nation in the world, followed by Monaco and Andorra. I'm the master of useless knowledge. <laughs> I mean, I learned something new. Wait, the v Vatican is actually a country? That is something I didn't know. Nation, I should say. No, but you gave the money back. And now you've confessed too, that's really brave of you. The next step now is apologizing to Ayako. Think you can do that for me, Eri? But I made everyone so mad, nobody's gonna forgive me, especially not Ayako. Look at that angry kid's face. Sans the only ATM that you can use in Latin. Cool. Take your time, bud. That is kind of an interesting thing. なんであやこちゃんが謝るの本当はね私エリちゃんがお金持ってくところ見ちゃってたんだでもね私私その場でエリちゃんのこと止めてあげられなかったエリちゃんのことを本当に思ったら私あの場で言うべきだった後悔してるんだ。私の方がお姉ちゃんなのに勇気がなかった。私にもっと勇気があればこんな大きなことにならなかったのに。だからごめん。私も許して。Good kids. I think I need to eat more dinner. I'm starting to get hungry. But then again, my little bro wanted me to get more hungry so that we... That I start eating more. Especially now that we're gonna work out more as well.
Listen up, we got Ayako's money back. Really? Do you know who the thief is? Not so fast. I actually have to apologize to you all. I'm back. Bet he wants you to eat more healthy stuff though. Like tuna. I mean... Uh, Monday we actually made a pretty healthy pasta sauce. And I'm eating pasta for dinner now instead of just kebabs and meat. So, I'm getting better. There's even uh, onions and garlic in there for some vitamins. I'm pretty proud of myself, because... <laughs> a few years back, I wouldn't even have tried. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Ari came to me yesterday saying she found some money. Guess it slipped my mind today. Seriously, Ari, where did you find it? Um, yard. How much was it? Thousand yen. It's exactly how much you were missing, right, Ayako? Yeah. Meaning, there's a good chance the money Eri found yesterday is the same money that went missing from Ayako's bag. There's no other possibility. What you guys think? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Why was I getting blamed? I'm sorry, Mitsu. All this could have been avoided if I had just remembered sooner. Everyone, I'm really sorry. Sorry, it's not good enough. Yeah. I got called a thief. Yeah, me too. Hold on, you guys. I'm gonna get mad at anyone, get mad at me. Kaz was just a little forgetful. I think we should be glad none of us turned out oh. to be thieves. Yeah. I guess. Sorry, Yona. Worry about it. And I'm sorry for suspecting you, Mitsuo. Oh. Whatever. Probably deserve it for how I treat Koji. It's all in the past now. I'm trying to get under the three digits and wait, but I'm close. Nice! Doing good job there, Hiko. Food! Why don't you all go play outside while we cook? We'll come get you when it's ready. Guess we better get started, right? Let's see if I can ask any of these guys about this turtle rock area thing. Yeah, it technically is the least healthy option for losing weight. Weight, weight. Obviously, so. But, yeah. We do what we gotta do, right? But I don't go down every board food frenzy. Yeah, it makes sense. That is probably the hardest part for me. Uncle Kaz. What's wrong, Taichi? It's that guy with the curly hair. I just saw him again. Are you sure? Yeah, he's... That blue truck. Flower is spying on us. It's definitely him. Alright, I'll handle it. Make sure you get inside. 
Gonna take a look outside, think he can handle dinner while I'm gone. Of course, be careful, Cass. I'll be fine, don't worry. But um, uh, if I'm not back in time for dinner, you guys can start without me. I mean, you already lost like 11 kilograms, if I remember the number correctly, right? So, uh, definitely not a bad thing. Uh, that's not a blue van. Where's the curly haired bastard? Four, three months, fifteen months. Joking, joking. Now you're doing a good job, bud. Just remember. And everything's gonna be alright. She was wrong. Think yeah. Mata Omaika. Ore no kotai wa kawate nezo. Yeah. Kyo wa. So yun jan den. Hmm? Ja nan no yoda. Kyo. Kyo wa aniki ni. Doshimo. What kind of favor are we talking about? It's got to do with the little lady. The girl with the sketchbook? That's right. Two nights ago, she just disappeared. Nobody knows where she could have gone. I think she ran away. Don't know. We well, got men searching the streets all and all, but they haven't found so much as a trace of her yet. And have you gone to the police? Well, not exactly. Why not? You should follow me yeah. some first, but I don't know we really can. What do you mean? Truth of it is, she's the daughter of a guy the boss used to do business with. The boss is taking care of the girl, yeah? But he never officially adopted her. If the cops found out about that, they'd ship her back to her parents, no questions asked. Uh. We don't want that? Right. Saki-san's parents are real scum of the earth, tell me. Her dad gambled all her money away and some, and then some, then would come home thinking of booze and beat the daylight out of the girl and her mom. Her mom, on the other hand, was always sleeping around. She acted like she didn't want to, want a damn thing to do with her. So then Nakahara took Saki in to protect her. Yep. Years back, we got calls to collect on her father's gambling debt. They were to their house. When you walked inside, what happened? We found the guy dead, hanging blue faced from a rope in their living room. Saki son of clutching. still clutching his lifeless legs. Her mom, probably off with one of her fuck boy, With one of her fuck boys. He never gave a single shit about Saki son. Which is why Nakar took her in. Yep. Boss looks. Gary, sure. He's got a good heart. It's just... wasn't in him to leave Saki, son, like that. 
And yeah, he complained at first about how much trouble it was raising the kid, but it wasn't long until he ended up a proud father. I treat Saki like she's his own flesh and blood. It's amazing. Yep, but word has it her mom's back in town that she wants to take Saki back. Why now, after all this time? Beats me. Ah. Probably so she can have a maid to do all the housework while she goes out and parties. Anyway, the boss has been trying to keep the little lady in the office so her mom wouldn't be able to find her. Which is why she was there when I stopped by. Yep, and that, and now that she's missing, the boss really worries. Like he's not a child anymore, though. To just call him if she needs help, to him, call him. Another chance in hell. Why not? The girl's mute. What? The doctor said some kind of mental block, probably from watching her dad hang himself right in front of her. So you see, she can't call us. That's why she has the sketchbook. Come on. Key, we gotta find her as soon as possible, please. で、だって。兄貴は兄貴じゃないですか。お前は流動一家の若頭だろ。俺はお前の兄貴分でも何でもない。まあ、その話はいいとして。良くない。お前みたいな奴に兄貴と呼ばれたら、うちの子供たちに悪
Ryu o Dojima. Ura, ura. Strong bastard, sorry about that. As long as you realize the mistake you made, bitch. Aneke! わかった、わかった。どうも、荒れてるみたいだな。What oh, do you want this time? Sorry, but I'm in no mood to talk about your little land problem. Uh, Rikia told me what's going on with Saki. Rikia, f that's Rikia for you. Never knows when to keep his damn mouth shut. Saying your problem, you son. Why don't you go look for her? And wouldn't be so miserable if it was that easy. What do you mean? She ran away because she didn't want to live with me anymore. I'd just scare her off if I went hunting for her now. You don't know what's... You don't know that for sure. Why don't you try figuring out why she really ran away? It wouldn't be too late to catch up to her if you go now. Kia told me Saki's mom has been out looking for her recently. Maybe Saki just wanted to see her again after all this time. Same difference. Either she wants to be with her mom or she doesn't want to be with me. Damn it, I re am I really worse than that miserable whore? Nakata, I guess a Yakuza like me doesn't have any business taking in a kid. First place, huh? That's not true. All children need someone who really, truly cares about them. It doesn't matter what you do for a living. Tell you know. You think you're some kind of kid expert just because you run a fucking orphanage? I know enough I was an orphan myself, huh? Not only that, the man who raised me was in the Yakuza. And since I have no memories of my birth parents, that man is more than more of fodder than I've ever had. He might have been a Yakuza, yeah, but I love them all the same. I'm sure Saki loves you too. But it's natural for her to miss her mom. She's still a kid, after all. Y you really think? Of course. Now get out there and find her before someone else does, but I can't. Why not look at me, Kiryu san? Saki ever want to come back to mess after seeing her mother? Thug like me could never compare to an actual parent. I'm just gonna have to face the fact that he's gone. You really think so? Yeah, I do. Fine then. I'll go talk to Saki myself. Oh, you're doing? Same thing you did three years ago. She needs help now more than ever, and I'm not about to let her down. Do you think this will change my mind about the land? Don't worry. I just want to get Saki safe home, home safe. The land has nothing to do with it. That's a conversation for another time. Hey. I'll be borrowing one of your boys. Hi, Aniki. Aniki. This is how mainland Yakuza be, boy. Should talk to him, Aniki. We're really gonna look for Saki. I don't have the slimmest idea where to start. 
Then we'll just have to ask around. We can focus on the area right around the office for now. We already combed every last nook and cranny. Nobody's seen her. You don't know where Mon lives? Nope. Sorry to ask. Is there anywhere you haven't looked? Nowhere she'd likely turn up. Only stone left unturned is Hatsumachi. I haven't detected there. Place the biggest red light district in the on the island. Choke full of hosts, hostess, corrupts, brothels, sort of smug. A kid's not gonna go anywhere near. Besides, but it's Tamashiro family turf. Things get really hairy real fast. So we showed our face over there. And it's settled. We're going to Hatsumachi. But Aniki, I just told you Hatsumachi's the only place you have a look. I don't care whose turf it is. We're going. Well. You're welcome to stay behind if you think the Tamashiro, Tamashiro are really that scary. Like, hell, that's gonna happen. I'm coming, Aniki. Good. Now let's go. Alright. Should we talk to this guy? Build Tori Driver. Oh, that's a cab. That's not a quest. Bakemon all. Okay, and uh, let me guess we use what to get there? <sighs> Asshole. People want to get punched. But then again, people always want to get punched. Jimada! It's just a joke, man. See, I'm laughing. Ha ha. <laughs> uh, motherfucker. Yeah, oh, thank God it's you. Something terrible happened. All right, all right. Calm down. Tell me what's going on. It's Saki-chan, huh? What about her? I, I saw her in Hatsumachi with some woman I've never seen before. Something felt really off about the whole thing. Are you sure it was her? Oh, well, if it isn't the dashing young fellow from before, this must be fate. Come on, we don't got time for your hopeless flirting. Let's try to focus. Where did you see Saki? Coming out of the convenience store over at the intersection with some woman who was absolutely dressed to the nines. I wonder who she was. Maybe Saki's mother. Then you really think she went back? Arts say the only way to know for sure is to find her and ask, I guess. By the way, Rikia, do you... Are you gonna have a party tonight? Party? Oh shit, it's the boss birthday. Been so distracted, the file it totally slipped my mind. She's not gonna be in the mood for a celebration if we can't find Saki though. Then we're not going we're doing ourselves any favors by standing around. Come on, let's go. Right. We gotta bring her back, even if it's just for today. Let's move, Aniki. Aniki Time to beat up the shit out of some bastards. Ugh, trash. Goya. Feel like I burned off all those calories and then some more. Sorry for bothering you. You can have this. Guys. You there in the kitsy shirt. Hmm. Oh shit. Who are you? Me? Who the fuck are you? 
Don't tell me you didn't know you're waddling all over Tamashiro family territory right now. Tamashiro, sorry, never heard of him. I usually try to keep my nose out of Yakuza's business. Bullshit. It's clear as a damn Okinawa sky. It's clear as the damn Okinawa sky what you do for a living. Telling the truth. And even if I was a Yakuza, I am not here looking for trouble now. I suggest she leaves alone. Or else, wait. Is that uh, Rikia back there? Your little game of hide and seek is not gonna work on me, or you do asshole. Shit. Not Yakuza my ass. If you weren't Yakuza, you wouldn't be spending time with this or you do sap. You here to try and take the brat back? What brat? Not time for 20 questions, bitch. Come on, boys. Let's show them what we do with trespassers. Well, that escalated quickly. Near downed enemy, okay. And my reflexes. Think I'm gonna go to bed. See you later, alligator. Hiko, sleep well, my dude. This guy really eats his spinach, huh? So you're ready to talk now? Tell me about this brand you mentioned. Uh, listening punk. Your mouth I will open it for you. What did you kidnap Saki or not? You didn't take nobody? Some bitch claiming to be the girl's mother brought her in. What could her mom possibly have to do with the Tamashiro? Duh. Cramps sleeping with the boss. Probably doesn't realize she just another notch on the bedpost for him. In other words, you have no reason to keep Saki, give her back. Look, we don't have her in a cage or nothing. She and her mom could be anywhere. Hmm. I think there's more to this than you're letting on. We should go pay your boss a little visit. Rikia, where's the Tamashiro office? Are you out of your mind, Aniki? We can go in there, just two of us. Your boy's right, they're gonna tear you limp from limp in there. But if you really want to die, I'll tell you. It's on the street behind the convenience store. You're the man, Rikia. Come on. But Aniki. Who the hell are you? Playboy aim. Oh. This is the place. I mean, yeah, but we're not really gonna walk in there by ourselves, are we? They'll pulverize us. What? Are you scared? Me? I'm not scared of a damn thing. I'd put my life on the line if you ask me to, Aniki. Wait, that's... Saki's sketchbook. This drawing is something wrong, Aniki. Definitely on the right track, Rikia. Saki has to be here. I knew it. I want you to go get Nakahara and tell him we're found her and bring him here. Bring him back with you. Um, okay. What about you? Just go. I'll keep an eye on all things. 
I'll keep an eye out. Well, time to head in. Let's... Oof. I'm sorry. I one of Tamashiro's grunts, huh? Do I need to teach you a lesson too? Wait, please. Just look at me. Do I seem like the Kuza to you? No, you guys actually seem like buddies. You have points, but you do look familiar. Anyway, if you're not with Tamashiro, what are you doing walking into their office? Well, I have a deal to make with them. You know how it is. I mean, you're obviously a Kuza. Not anymore, I'm not. I'm just here to take care of some business, huh? I'm Kamiyama. What's your name? It's Kiryu. Kiryu son? Why does it feel like I know that name? Wait, eh, I deal on certain choice items. They've been high demand lately, if I do say so myself. Sounds like Tom Shiro are getting, going to war soon, so they asked me to bring some of my stuff. Guess by stuff you mean weapons? You don't have to scream. Sounds gonna hear. But if you're gonna go toe to toe with Tom Shiro, I might be able to lend a hand if you catch my drift. I thought they were one of your customers. Well, yeah, but they're one of those customers you wish you could get rid of. SQ! But can because they pay a rent. Though if you start buying from me and wiping them out, I could finally be free of their clutches. Hold on a sec, I've never said a word about wiping anyone out. No need to be coy about it. It's been in I've been in this business for a long time. Rip guys like you are the brawling type, it's obvious. You've probably been in more fights than I can count. Either way, wouldn't you rather have a weapon on you when you bust in there? Better than <laughs> better that than going in empty handed, I guess. That's settled. I know the perfect store that can get you just fix. Just your need to fix. Right there, not much of appearances. Don't worry about it. Just come in. Come with me. Come with me! How are you doing today, Mrs. SQ? Knock mobility. Anything that can help you get away from the fuzz is positive in my book. Right. He's no, this one's all hand by my pal here. My own shop is uh, up on the second floor of a building near the Ryudo office. That's where I sell gear and mod stuff too. Hmm. <laughs> Wish I could just give you everything you need to crush the Tamashiro, but remember, we're running business here. Let me see here. This should get the engine started. Extendable staff. If you use them, if that ever happens, bring them up to my shop and I'll fix it up for you in no time flat. Don't expect me to work for free. Free or not, it's a pretty good deal. By the way, you guys have a lot of weapons I've never seen before. It's incredible. Oh. Have our wares called your eyes. I know a guy who can teach you how to use them if you want. Up next for it, huh? Yes, yes. I'll mention you to him. I'm sure he'll be thrilled to have students as beefy as you. Oh. And just holler if you need anything else. I'll help you as much as I humanly can. Throw the Tomoshiro and I'll... Uh, Tomoshiro will come for my legs. Maybe more if you feel. Then fill then. Yeah, feel free to stop by my shop when you have the time. Well, thanks, Kam Kamiya. Oh, you know, the usual. Eh. Yeah. yeah, that does sound like uh, the usual. I'm here to buy. Modified lighter, army knife, extendable staff, wooden katana. Uh, sure, I'll buy a chainmail. Okay. Item. I was my happy kitten today. <laughs> Since when am I a kitten? I saw the look he gave me, asshole. What do you mean, what look? I didn't do anything. You're the asshole here. 
Smashed. Let's go in. さっきはどこだ。ガキならだが、お前はあの<笑><笑> Look at them all coming at me with weapons. <laughs> Welcome back, Ego. By the way, Hiko, weren't you gonna go to bed? <laughs> Events, bitch. Mm. I like that sword. Looks very shiny. Someone that kind of looks like yourself. 
No. Inventory is full. Technically, I am in bed. You were technically right about that. Hey, Zillar. Burn fry this guy, or burn fry, burn him. Another one. Come on, I just want to fry some faces here. Portable stove. Uh, you jumped a little bit, Yordi, from the sound commands. Did I? I already forgot if I did, because I'm so focused in the game. Explanation mark SFX. And then either page one or uh, page zero or page one. Okay, then it's uh, explanation mark FFX space one. Why is this so hard to remember how this works? Um, maybe without the space. Okay, try to add page one. I remember that Sep managed to pull it off, but I don't know, Ed Page. Oh, see, Hiko does it. It's probably because you already used it, maybe. Maybe because there's a cooldown on it, I don't know. I don't think it's... Uh, Subscriber only, though. Well, Yordi is not paying attention and is getting pounded.
Yeah, I think it's purely cooldown related. We figured it out. Right, guys, right? Saki. You do it, Kono Shinrika. Story the Tobicon de Kurtoa, E. Dokyoda. Or you do it, Kajanai. その子を取り返しに来ただけだ。何を <laughs> そんなこと<笑> Sure, if you can fix this, but I can only hear game sounds from the AK from the left. No, I can't fix that. Yeah. <laughs> I need to like replace my uh, jack cable for this, anyways. さあ、次はお前のなに一人で格好つけてんだ。だが、てめえみたいなやつを乗さばらせておくのはもっと好きじゃない。ああ。嫌がれこのゲロ。Bulls fight. Tetsuo Tamashiro.
Groot. Maybe it's because I'm playing on uh, hard difficulty, but these bosses have so much HP. It takes so little damage. Oh yeah, what was I saying again about uh, needing a new jack cable that goes from my capture card to my uh, PC? Why, Hiko, do you need to sell your capture cards? And use it. What kind of capture card is it? Razer HD something something. Nice. Head to press. Thank you. 
Yeah. You do. Capture cards are literally just for consoles. Family like mine.何が娘よ。何が母親よ。バカじゃないの、あんたたち。何? <笑> そんなにその子が欲しいんなら So sweet. She legit doesn't have any light in her eyes. キリュウの兄弟。頼む。俺はあんたに惚れちゃった。坂月を壊してくれ。と言ってもな。俺はもう極道じゃねえんだ。そんなことあかんけねえ。要は俺があんたに惚れたってことだけだ。キリュウち
お久しぶりです、キリュウさん。どうして大悟はここに例の、沖縄リゾート開発の土地買収の件で。リゾートの土地買収だとええ、実は、今話題になっているリゾート開発に必要な土地の買収。沖縄の登場会参加の組織の中心となって進めていたことなんです。なんだとまさかその登場会参加の組織ってのが玉城組だっていうのかそうです玉城組は登場会の家具ご自団体にあたる組織です That's the whose characters all sing back to meet I bet actually 計画の立案者である鈴木大臣は土地の買収を玉城組に依頼したというのがことの発端ですあのリゾートは一定の広さの土地を揃えることができないと動かない計画なんですだからあの土地が必要なのかはいリゾートに必要な土地を確保するためにはどうしても現地に詳しい組織に任せる必要がありますからね玉城組は格好の存在だったというわけですその話は分かっただがどうして大悟が沖縄に来る必要があったんだ玉城組の土地買収のやり口は非常に強引なものでした他人から土地の権利書を奪い取るようなことばかりしてた they got as well. じゃあうちの先をさらったのも俺の土地の権利書が目的だったのかおそらくそうでしょう玉城は中原さんのお子さんを誘拐し身の代として土地権利書を取引するつもりだったのでしょうくそ玉城の野郎手の込んだ真似しやがって玉城組のような強引な土地買収を続ければいずれ大ごとになるのは明白ですリゾート開発にヤクザが絡んでるなんてスキャンダル世間に知れたリゾート開発はおろか基地拡大法案も白紙に戻る可能性がありますそれでタミヤさんは私のところに事態の収集を依頼してきたんですそうなのか世間でささやかれている通り基地拡大法案とリゾート開発計画はワンセットなんですそれはどういうことだあの二つは持ちつつ持たれつの関係なんですよどちらかが倒れたらうまくいかなくなるリゾート開発がなくなれば基地拡大法案だけが残ってしまい住民感情から法案が通る可能性がなくなりますだからある意味タミヤさんにとってリゾートは自分の基地拡大法案の生命線なんですなるほどそれでタミヤは自分の基地拡大法案にケチがつかないよう大悟に事態の収集を依頼したってわけかええそうです私は今回の仲裁をこちらのトーマくんに頼まれタミヤさんと一緒に沖縄までタミヤ防衛大臣の秘書をさせていただいていますトーマ商用と申しますほうその年で大臣先生の秘書さんとは立派なもんだないえいえ私はタミヤ先生のご指示に従っているだけの男ですしかし土地の買収を止めてしまえばどの道リゾート開発も進まなくなるんじゃないのか結局タミヤの基地拡大法案は通らなくなってしまうだろうその件に関しては地域住民との話を詰めながら進める予定と聞いておりますどうしてそこまでして法案を通したいんだ地拡大法案を通せばリゾート開発よりも大きな仕事を成し遂げたことになり次期総理へ一気に近づくからですなるほどな登場会としても本来なら株組織の仕事を奪うようなことはしたくないんですがひとたびスキャンダルになってしまった場合後々警察にマークされてしまう可能性も高いそれだけは何としても避けたいと思う仲裁の役目を引き受けたわけですそういうことだったのか
でもまさか、キリュウさんの施設が買収対象だったとは、正直、驚きました。まあしかしこれでどっちにしてもあの土地を手放さなくてよくなったんだからよよかったじゃねえかまあなしかし今回はこういう結末になりましたがこのままというわけにはいきませんいずれリゾート計画は私の手で必ず実現させますどういうことだあんたはタミヤの秘書だろ In Germany with Saxony and Bavaria, or in England with Scotland and Wales. I am from Okinawa. In this land, the land will always be stolen. The resort plan will not be able to build money directly to Okinawa. This island will always be able to continue to grow. I am the Minister of the Tamiya Daijin, but I am more than that. むしろリゾートの方が沖縄には必要だと思っていますトーマさん知ったっけかあんたはいあんた沖縄の人間なら分かってんだろう別に沖縄の人間がそんなこと望んじゃいねえってことくらいよ俺も最初は沖縄に金が落ちるならいいと思ったけどなやっぱりそうじゃねえ大事なのは俺ら沖縄の人間が愛せるままの沖縄ってことなんじゃねえのか一度東京に行けばわかりますよいかに沖縄が日本にとって必要のない小さな島なのかってことが私は何としても沖縄を豊かにしたいそのためなら多少の犠牲は必要だと思っていますその犠牲が俺らの土地ってわけかええ、沖縄には海や砂浜は腐るほどあります多少リゾートのために切り取ったところで問題はないはずだ目的のためなら一人二人の犠牲は構わねえんだなんていかにも政治家さんの発想だと思うんだがなでもよ But you know. 私たちに命張って生きてる人間もいるんだぜとにかく、今回の一件、これで幕引きとさせてください。失礼しよう、トーマ君。はい。第五。はい。もしまた登場会がここの買収に来るようなら、その時は一言言ってから来てくれ。俺にも、守らなきゃならないものがあるからな。わかっています。ですが、ご安心ください。俺が六代目のうちは、沖縄には手出しませんよ。本当だな。ええ。俺は嫌ってほど、キリュウさんの怖さ知ってます。敵に回したら、登場界が潰れちまう。<笑>トーマ君の夢は、彼が総理大臣になった時にでもやってもらいましょう。な、トーマ君。そのプラはもう、キリュウさんもいい年になって今面倒見てる子供さんたちも今の俺くらいの年にはなってますよそれならいいでしょう俺は結構しぶといぜ<笑>そうでしたじゃあ今度はプライベートで呼んであああのよ兄弟うんなんだあんたもしかしてあの登場会の四代目ってわけじゃねえよなそれがどうしたえ嘘だろ四代目っつったらよこっちの人間でも知ってるぜ確か道島のりって言うとおちまうあああ,あ,あ,あ,あんたひょっとしてキリュウまあ今度から喧嘩を売るときは、ちゃんと相手のことを調べてからにするんだな、兄弟。なんかとんでもねえやつと、さがずきかわしまったぜ。まあ、そんなこともあるさ。
I'm most likely gonna instantly get thrown in a new cutscene. Saved, so we're fine. Oh, oh my booty! Guys, gals, ladies and gents, thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you had a fantastic time. Uh, like... <sighs> Yakuza, man. Like, really? I like this game. Like, any of the games in the series. They're just so good. Makes me feel whole. I don't have to work too hard to beat anything. Don't have to put in too much focus. We can enjoy the little shenanigans of everything. Love that. We just got here and no Kiki yet. No, Kiki is dead. <laughs> Kiki isn't dead. Kiki's alive. Really need to stop making that joke. It's not a fun joke. It's not a fun joke. Some kind of sociopath in my hat or something. Anyways. Guys, gals, ladies and gents. Thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, and subscribe. And until the very fucking next time. Good night.